now listening to the Super Rocks. Oh shit alert, Louis clothes, call it women's sisters, Louis Vuittons and Gucci shows. Well, I guess that goes my Louis shows, more oh shit, if your role model's a movie bro. And if you live your life like it's a studio, talking to us like we mics, a bunch of you ain't do before. Elect- Keep a toaster in my jacuzzi, y'all. Shaka Zulu, call me Wasalutu. Oh shit, let these record labels prostitute you. Strap them to sushi bars and feed them lots of fugu. Catch a bad piece. You can stick that 360 between your ass cheeks. Artists that's mobilized and unionized like the athletes. Radio is making our craft weak. Forced to repeat the same dumb shit that worked. Only as hot as your last beat. And rappers, they relating to that last piece Album never lead a guess If you ain't got no BDS Sacrifice your publishing They said you really need a hook And they ain't gon' pay you Said that you received a look And what's stupid real Is what producers feel 20 placements or you stuck in that producer deal And R&B chicks so get it the wildest All their money goes to hairdressers and stylists Gotta keep up with that image They gon' lose their mind if they ever see a blemish Proactive in peels, airbrushes and trainers Managers suggest you fuck a nigga to be famous, huh? But it's all entertainment Wonder when Cobain blew out his brains Did he blame it? And if those snakes in the industry help him aim it Started pressing up records for the bullet left the chamber huh? I fight evil, every day I'm living huh? Rest in peace to men, women, and the children. Uh-huh. And middle fingers to the pilgrims that have killed them. Yeah. Friend of the people, happy Thanksgiving. Yo, 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 what's up, what's up? Detroit is definitely in the building via your headphones, stereo, and speakers. Of course, on your man's The African Caesar. And this is the Sneaker Box Morning Show right here on Woodward Sports Network. Um, we got a lot of stuff for you today. Um, we're going to ask you guys the question, are you guys willing to pay rent for sneakers? I'm not, but, you know, that's apparently a thing nowadays. Uh, Payless is making a comeback and we're going to bring back one of our favorite segments, the One Star Sneaker Store Google Reviews. But first, let me introduce the crew. Of course, we have the contrarian of the show, Gino. Yo. Yeah. Um, then we have Mr. Bot Topic himself, the hype beast of the show, Dunks. I almost called you Bot. What <laughs> <laughs> is this European this, this Caesar? This European Caesar. Yeah. yeah, there we go. So and wouldn't he just be Julius Caesar? Ooh, I like that, Julius. Oh, uh, boy. Y'all, y'all, y'all getting out of hand. And then, of course, we have the black Republican of the show. I have the adult of the show, <laughs> not Republican. Don't associate me with no Republicans, please. <laughs> um, we got Guru back in the studio as well, so. Wait, wait, wait. Hold up. Before you continue, I, I need a favor. Uh, the interns, yes. can we put them to work yeah. real quick? Go I got trash. Yeah. No, I, we, get, we got to get this off the set. Yeah. Get yeah. out of here. Yeah, thank you. Do something. Here, Do you something with your lives. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. But we do appreciate y'all, though. I don't. Wow. You came with the studio. Don't you on pay a, him? On a more positive No, note. I don't. Oh, damn. On a more Thanks for the sports. Note, why don't we wish Caesar a happy belated birthday? Thank yeah, you. Happy belated birthday. Yes, yes. Another. Time's most influential. Mitchell Ness, number one brand ambassador. I was going to say, is that a gift from Mitchell and Ness personally? Uh, Nike, Nike business consultant. <laughs> Any potential sponsors? What else? The, most, time the time. most beef with person in sneaker podcasting. The most beef with? Yeah. <laughs> I know, he's been, he been, he been pretty I've, quiet lately, I've been though, in man. more beefs in podcasts than I have all throughout high school. He's been pretty quiet the past couple of years. <laughs> I ain't really yeah, no. You know what it is? Because <laughs> I, I used to like want to respond to the nonsense. Now I don't. If your resume ain't as good as mine, nah, I ain't got nothing to say to you. Nah, wow. that, 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 that was a flex. That I should have got the car. Was it? That was a flex. I mean, it's the truth. Uh, it's easy for you to say that now. Nah, shot the car. Right? I, I mean, I mean, you be shot. Podcasting with C's like enough. riding, riding with Suge in Vegas. That's how you to be podcasting <laughs> with C's. That's, that's a real messed up analogy, <laughs> but. <laughs> Anyway, fans, please don't take it personal. Excuse me. Anyway, uh, since we're giving up well wishes, 
And thank you for remembering my birthday. Um, well wishes to uh, I sell sneakers in our dreams, aka Tay. Mm-hmm. She got she uh got injured. Uh oh. Yeah. Oh man, wish her was safe recovery. Yes. Swin. Yes. Look at what camera do Swin. I look at? Like, you want camera right now? Just, no, if I, I look know. at the screen, I'd be looking down like this. Now it looks like I'm asleep. See, so this is the beauty's a lie. I know, right? right? I love it. <laughs> hey, I love episode it. one, I look so confused, discombobulated, looking at every camera. I'm just sticking to this one. I know what camera I'm supposed to look at. Which one do I look at that one. Right there. Ooh. Yeah, that was that. Yeah. I look at that one, right? Yeah. I look at this one. I look at this one. <laughs> yeah, so, I love how we figured this out. Thank you. Who I look at? All that matters is which camera Caesar looks at. It's really all that matters. That's really, thank you, Dunks. I'm aware. Talk about brownie points. Uh, you trying to get on his good side? This is his birthday, bro. No, his yeah, birthday yeah. was yesterday. So, but it's my birthday, birthday weekend now. So, let's go with that. Don't, don't do that. Let's go with that. Let's make don't a weekend out of it. Uh, make sure to follow us on social media. You can follow us on Twitter at tsb underscore show. Uh, you can follow us on Instagram at the sneaker box underscore show. And I hope people understand what underscore is. Is that little line that's at the bottom, not a hyphen, but at the bottom. And then uh, Facebook. You can look us up by looking up the Sneaker Box Radio Show. And make sure to call us uh, on our hotline at 248-677-1803. Um, whether you guys want to respond to something we said on the show or uh, if you got any sneaker comments or questions, uh, hit us up. And we'll play them on a future episode. I believe we have like three that we're going to play later today. Finally. Yes. So, Is it hate? No, uh, you know what? I haven't listened to it. Oh, I have a perfect. bad feeling. So yeah, yeah. hopefully well, it's once again hate. the perks of doing live. Hopefully it's dunks hate. So um, it's funny that somebody mentioned sponsors. Uh, we have a spoof sponsor. Ooh, yes. I think I know, but I don't want to spoil it. Nope. <clears throat> yeah, it is a, well, yeah, it's it's Gorilla Glue. So everybody knows the situation with Gorilla Glue early, earlier this year. Was that this year or last that year? That was January. That was this year. It was yeah. recent. Yeah, it, it, was, it started off. You know, yeah. that, that, that was, no, that was yeah. February. It was February. Through well, no yeah, fault, what happened in January? The Capitol. Oh yeah, that is yes. right. Yeah. 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 So through no fault of their own, some young lady put Gorilla Glue on her hair, mm-hmm. and whatever. But anyway, they seem to have some negative press, and so uh, they want to use our show to generate some positive press. So uh, they got a new tagline. You want to hear it? I, I think I see it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Gorilla yeah, Glue. See. We put the perm in permanent. Yeah. I like it. You like that one? I like it. Take it a negative glue, and turn it into a positive. Is Gorilla Glue what you use to glue your tubes back together? Not yet. No, I mean, you yet. should have. <laughs> no, no, no. Right. He, he I would be rubber done. cement. <laughs> Same thing people do their projects with. I was going to say, he might, he, might not, he might have to use regular cement. You know, he got to get the truck and everything. Or maybe he uh, sent them back to Portland. They had did them wrong with the PEs, probably repaired them. Oh, right. Yeah, right. They do the PEs and stuff. So. I got to say, Gorilla Glue, if there was ever a case of taking lemons and making lemonade, that was probably an instance hey, of that. Is that real or that's spook? Oh, it was real. No, that's not real. <laughs> that's not real. That's not real. Because brands are so, they're so, I won't say so, not really social conscious. Not, not social conscious, but not like aware. Because mm-hmm. they would actually use that. And then be like, what's wrong? Like when Dove had the black woman that's dirty and there's the Caucasian woman that's clean. And yeah. they're like, what did we do wrong? Well, that yeah. would be like, more that's of, I, So that's why I'm like, I didn't put it past them by some of the women yeah. doing this. But that's why I was asking. Was so like, I, I figured that would have been But real. now that we said it, don't be surprised if they use it. Yeah. So. Uh, Let's get into a five five sneaker release. You should have had Guru say it because then they would have stole it. <laughs> yeah, I know they used to stealing Guru's ideas. Yeah, they at least, no, I believe you they at least give me a sell conversation. Them ideas exchange for product. Trust me, if I did, <laughs> you got. Don't you get product? Huh? Don't you get hey, product? No, I'm saying. Did you see my look at his sleeves? Time out. You see how you look at his sleeves? Time out. I get product because of what I do, not because of what you do. And part of what you do is is giving them inside information. They don't need me. They can just listen to the show. No, no. Who told them to listen to the show? Are you asking me what, that, why do I tell people to listen to the show? No, no, no. I'm telling you, you said you didn't tell them, but I said, yeah, listen to the show. And I said, who tells them to listen to the show? It's you just tell like, people to listen to get Guru Clout. That's not Thank saying. That's not, that's not See, saying. Dunks like, is you, batting a you thousand really, today. Really, I I don't don't, don't, don't it, mention man. me with Clout, please. No, I'm the least favorite person on this show, and I enjoy this version of Dunks. I take that as a compliment. I'm the most least favorite person on the show, and I enjoy it. You are not the most least favorite person. Least. No, it's that yeah, least exactly. famous. I'm least I'm famous. The, I'm the least famous. So. I I'll agree like, with Gino. You see your Pepsi. <laughs> Hold on. Right here, bro. Exactly. Dunks. <laughs> Slam. Dunks. Yeah. Oh, my hey. goodness. Oh, that's that not for you. That's, that's why he sits next to me. That's for us to do. I'm okay? oh, sorry. Did I take your boyfriend? Whoa, whoa. Bell. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, Come exactly. On. We need the bell. Uh, ding. I, <laughs> five, five sneaker releases of the week. Um, 
Let's start off with number five, and I'm actually kind of mad that I missed this, but they probably didn't have my size anyway. And that's the Snipes Special Edition Adidas Original Form High Detroit Pistons. I thought that was a dope shoe. Clean yeah. shoe. They um, sold out? Yeah, they, and they didn't actually sell in stores, so apparently they had like a, a truck that were driving around and selling them off the back of the truck. Mm. Yeah. So uh, they were back door. Guerrilla marketing. Yeah, retail, <sighs> retail. Out the trunk. Well, they were doing. I know, I saw the one picture they posted. It was right in front of Little Caesars Arena. So, you know, duh. Well, who knows? Like, I don't know. I guess I missed that. I mean, I would have copped the shoe. One of the shoes was uh, it just had three one three on it. It was an all white top ten. But it was another top ten that was like dope. But I would have well, grabbed see, the form. That's been my beef with Detroit collaborations. Is hey, just throw your name on it and we'll call it a collab. It's like the, about was one. The shoe was like two or three shoes. They did the other. The no, it's been a lot of Detroit collabs where it's just like. Little effort. I mean, like what? Design. Like what? Which one? Like the Villa collabs? Because I mean, a lot of those were kind of like just colorways. Yeah, it was just orange and blue. But you also got. Yeah. To but you got to also understand like the people <clears throat> here. They like to buy the stuff that matches the teams. So that's part of the no, 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 I have no problem. That's how it goes. First of all, yeah. <laughs> I have no problem with that. But that's been done at nauseum. Like, okay, there's other stories to tell. But other yeah, Detroit we, stories for us though. But for everybody else, they like well, that. That's what so I'm if you for. actually did like prime example. That I think uh, Burn Rubber or Roe, no Roe, yeah, it was a no Rick had did them uh, bail out New Balances. They 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 did well eventually, but they didn't sell. And they out. did the Reeboks. They didn't sell out. They did. They did. Uh, they they did the Locker. Pablo Boat. Uh, they did New Balances too. Yeah, because when the Foot Locker store. Opened. Yeah, yeah. But they didn't sell out as quick as the Adidas Top Tens, and we was there for the Top Tens. Uh, the Detroit Day. The Detroit the Days, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, so I'm just saying. Bad, like, but we but my point is, there's a little variety. If, if all the brands are just gonna do the same thing. Piston color, but you know, as a Detroit, we away. buy the same. I'm just things. saying, just oh, expand your palette. That's all. It, I'm saying. They they did. They, they did do, a, they, but they, they don't did buy a form it. instead of a top ten. What do you mean? <laughs> they did expand the palette. <laughs> no, I'm saying, that, well, yeah, yeah, the, 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 the silhouette. Yeah, yeah, yeah but I'm talking about the story. They just attach the uh, attach the, the top story 10. story is what I mean. Do other things because, like you said, Burn Rubber's been doing some other things and that sells. Yeah, but it don't sell like the, how the the. The sports themes are. I agree with you. I'm just saying we're the, so we're we're the accept- we are no, we're the exception. The rest of the city. I'm know. saying the rest of the city don't buy like See how much smoother the show went last week. Man, you sound crazy. <laughs> I saw y'all and that little horse y'all said on that that Kim shoe. That was Pegasus. That was the horse that Hercules rode. Somebody so that wasn't just that a unicorn. Though. Y'all called it a unicorn. I called it a mosquito. It looked like a mosquito on the picture. I mean, for him it probably would be. Y'all called it y'all like a unicorn. So that was. I mean, we knew that, but I'm just saying on the shoe it looked. Like, from yeah, our that's point it, that's of view, like you unicorn. expect a European Caesar to know that? Yeah, that was Hercules. That's Greek. So, <laughs> mm, little next door neighbor. <laughs> like I'll take it. <laughs> next door neighbor, the wrong one of it. So go ahead. Duh, number four, uh, the Bad Bunny Special Edition Adidas Forum Buckle Low, the first cafe. Why is this on on the list? I actually, surprisingly honestly, like these, but I'm confused about the too. whole first cafe thing. Yeah, me too. I don't, like, I don't know where that's from. Like maybe I, I'm ignorant. Maybe I should have done more research. We, is it's like a coffee reference? Like, are you supposed to wear this? I mean, to the, the colorway shop? would seem to pull from that. Can we can we stop doing the double the double tongue thing though? I just feel like that's just getting right, kind of out tired. There. Kind of is like, with a double heel though. Yeah, but still, like, we, can you put that picture back up? I was wanna. Nike and Sakai have done that like to the to the but ground. Did Jeremy Kai, did Sakai do it before them? I believe so. Oh, okay. There I, you go. But <laughs> no, I mean, <laughs> I mean listen, I guess. it looks like that second hey, tongue though. They also have the same uh, lace thing going, you know, on the vibe. Yeah, I see so that. There's like similar elements. Well, maybe they maybe they are ripping off the designs, but I will say, I mean, the shoe is decent, especially coming from Adidas and. That second sun looks like it may or may not come off. I don't know if there's this is this is Bad Bunny, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he just had a shoe with Crocs not too long ago, so well, would like that he's really be a shoe? Who, well, by yeah, definition, a it is a shoe. I mean, it goes. And maybe feet. it's not a sneaker; it's more of like a clog, I guess. Yes, yeah, uh, I don't know. I, go. Let's get technical. Yeah, I don't know. I, it's, it's, this one's much nicer than his Crocs. I, I, not I agree with that. Yeah, that's that's never that's not really not. And it's dope for an Adidas pair. Say what? It's dope for an Adidas shoe. Oh, right, that's what I agree with. I, I definitely agree. Um, I think I don't, you had to be I don't from think a, so. It's like forums were hard. I mean, for us from Detroit, we we outside Nike, we we rock with Adidas heavy from the top ten to the forums. Right. So the questions and question low. So I mean, it's not surprising. I mean, I do sense. like the fact that the forum is starting to get a lot of love. Seems like this year a little bit. I mean, but. Adidas, I mean, that's the sad part about Adidas because they got a nice little, 
they got some nice silhouettes in their bag too. And sometimes they get caught up in just the same old shoes, like the superstar, like the Stan Smiths. Not saying they're not dope shoes, but you got other things in your bag. Beyonce actually was like, I think her was the first form that was dropped in a while. Because I'm surprised yeah, they so. Ivy Park. Yeah, 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 I think so. That yeah. one was dope too. I am surprised that like forums, like that just now giving forums that amount of attention. Like that should have been something they've been did. Once they had that wave back in like what 2017, 2016? Oh, they're probably gonna throw boost in it next. <laughs> Please don't. Cause they tried that. I see they tried to do the whole put boost in everything. The boost in the robberies wasn't bad. They with the, the boost in the, the superstars. Robberies, the robberies wasn't bad. The superstars was uh, that, yeah, it was questionable. But yeah, the, the robberies wasn't that bad. Now this shoe, this next shoe, number three, uh, I think this only came out in Asia so far, which is funny because uh, and this is the Nike Air Max ninety special edition swoosh mark. And I guess the upper rips off to reveal, you know, the little Air Max graphic on the toe see, box. And if it's not a skate shoe, I don't really understand the the tearaway or like because they're getting tearaway crazy. Like, yeah, yeah you seen them up tempo and stuff coming out. Now, nah, if this, if this one, we said this plenty of times on the show. If Nike does anything, they, once they get like a good idea, they just beat that horse to death. It just doesn't make sense on a lifestyle or a running shoe, though. No, nah, I agree. I, I wish it didn't have that. Damn it, alarm. I wish they didn't have that. Um, Cause the shoe, I actually like the shoe as is with the stripes and everything. And then I mean, you don't gotta rip it off. I mean, I won't. But it's just like, but you'll be just, tempted. No, I'm not tempted. I'm just saying. <laughs> be careful where you walk at. <laughs> yeah. But no, I mean, he'll do nothing that work anyway, so they won't get myself. That's true. No, why you put my business out there? But <laughs> yes, I actually said last week. Like Chrysler watches. Look. So here's the thing. <laughs> actually said last week. So <laughs> <laughs> but the point is. Is that we already know, like, once Nike has, like, a, a good colorway or a good concept, they go just, they they just go ape shit and put it on everything. I as They 60% of the reason for it, but the other 40% is the consumer, because when they do go, hey, crazy over it, the consumers do buy it. So, Facts. I mean, you can't say crazy when we, we all guilty of it. Yep. I got six pair of white and blue LeBron, like, white and blue LeBrons. I got... Huh, the same color Kobe's like it just we just it just what it is. How many up tempos we got? How many of the same shoe that you have in different? Yeah, color but the difference right. is though. I think a colorway is something different than when you kind of go like that tearaway thing. That concept, like that theme, is just so. Another thing, but, done it so but often. You, like they're cool grays. We all got white and blue. We all got cool grays. We all got them like the white on whites. Like there's always like. But, know, but, but that's why we said it before on the show. This is why this is something. This is. Something that we've noticed with Nike over the years is that, what, like... What do you prefer? Tearaway, like, material to material, where it's, like, they'll do different color suede, or, like, when it's the, the paint fade? Like, they did the L.A. to Shy, the SB Jordan 1s, I don't like where that it's, like, shit a paint fade. But, I, I mean, but look, and it's funny, because they haven't really done that too much, but... No, I, mean, I feel like, like that actually, actually looks material. better. I like what, the, the material fade? to material Yeah, if you, if you do, when you do the fade look, it just looks better rather than, like, yeah, here, rip up the shoe real quick. So because not everybody's good with a... Nobody, not everybody's good with a knife, so... Well, if it's paint, it's easier. You just take alcohol. Well, yeah. Or, like, yeah, 50, 50, or you yeah, just wear yeah. your shoes, and you just let it, over time, wear down. But also, too, you got to look at it as... When, like, when we did, when we was at Blue Ribbon Studios, yeah. they gave us a, a plain shoe. What did half the people there do? Cut it up, cut right? Cut it up, because that was the hot thing to do. But that was before the cut up. No, that, that was, was that was like right around the Virgil. No. That was 2018, that, yeah. No, that was 20. That was 2018. We went in January. January, but he didn't cut up his shoes. He didn't do that to the fives. Yeah, the fives came on a year or didn't two Didn't the ago. ones kind of have that destructed, deconstructed look? Ghosting and deconstructing. He just wrote a book about the whole process. Who? Virgil. Like, Virgil book. Oh, like okay. the whole exposing yeah. materials. But that's yeah. what I'm is saying. That's like, before is before or after he started uh, it's got his words ripping in there? off Nike designs yeah, at probably uh, Louis Vuitton. Yeah. Well, maybe there's a ghostwriter for his how-to. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, that's probably what. I mean, that's what it is. Man, I don't mind it. it give you, if you don't want the initial look, you can switch it up. Yeah, I, I mean, I just feel like just rather than do that, just come out with another show. Thank you. Or just come out with a pack. I, I, I got bigger problems than tearaways. How you want, like, you, we want the flints, and then you give us a shoe look just like a flint with a minor tweak. Or we want taxis, and you give us the same taxi, but you make the Jumpman panel gold. Like, yeah, I but, bigger, but I mean, but they've been doing that. Remember the how they always change up the materials? Yeah, but like you said, because people buy it. <clears throat> yeah, some, not the material. We know that at least you give us the same colorway. And you right, the no, material. but I'm saying, like, that's something they've always done. They always screw up 
something that they don't need to yeah, screw up. Yeah, they screw up either the form or they screw up the materials. Now you messing with the colorway because if the flint gray ain't as good as it was in 03 or 05, you will still, okay, I'm going to rock with it because it's True. still the same color. But when you tweaking it and putting double stitching well, in it in the red, like. <laughs> well, let me ask you this. Well, so they, so, so what, about, well, what about when they uh, took 3M off of the 13s? Or put 3M on the 13. Yeah, but it was still that's the same. Yeah, I was but, say, it was but, still the same shoe. Yeah, and that's nobody really rock with it like that, and people will discuss it like that. And the same thing with the how you came with the altitudes in 2005 with leather, and then 2010. <laughs> at least the, the, yeah, the, yeah. the Reds had been planned on it. You just robbed us of the 3M, but you so, actually went out your way. So you know how Nike and Jordan make these little tweaks when they retro or re-release a shoe, right? Which is expected. Adidas never does. It's the exact same shoe, same SKU, same box, same details to the. Like they completely flopped. Uh, honestly, that. I can't even tell you. Would you prefer that or no? Because as a sneakerhead, the same. You get, if there's like Adidas, there's no tweaks. Like the Zebras, for example, same shoe drops eight times. I would prefer it because here's the thing. But as but a that sneaker head, like two, three years old. As when a sneakerhead, you get a chance of getting the original, right? Yeah. But on the other end, it fucks up the prices. See, I don't care though. That's the thing. Like that's for people that's trying to resell and flip. I don't care. Like exactly. I know how I'm talking. I'm just trying to bring up an relevant point. <laughs> no, no. I mean, it's a very valid point. I, me personally. If I have an original Air Jordan 4 and then Jordan brand five years from now comes out with the exact spec Air Jordan 4, I don't care because I have my pair. I didn't, you know what I'm saying? Like, so whatever anybody else has and whatever they're able to get, great. You know what I'm saying? That doesn't take away from what I have. You know what I'm saying? See, like, I'm saying I think though Nike takes that into consideration, and that's why they make these small tweaks to keep the the first. You know why they make the small tweaks is because they know one you're gonna buy it, and then when they do finally come out with the originals, you're gonna buy that too because you, you want to overcome that small yeah, tweak. That's so, a good point. Yeah. So, Guru, mm. I thought you were about to say something. No, I just I just don't. I hate it. Like, just give me the like. You actually have to go out your way. Like, you got the exact thing what you need to duplicate this. Yeah. And you have to go buy the yellow paint. I mean, go paint. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got everything you need here. You still got to go to go out your way to mess it up. Like, that's my only so problem. So I know you loving those uh, taxi twelves that are coming. Yeah, that's out why exactly what I'm addressing. Yeah. That, yeah. that that is awful. That look, awful. The, uh, it's way the though. The is awful. We want the city. Yeah, what you but, do? But, you give us the indigo. Exactly. You yep. give us the indigo. Who like, asked for that? No, Nobody. I agree with that. Like, 100%. and don't, don't the let don't the, like they say over time like the color kind of. Supposed to fade a yeah. little bit. You yeah. act, that costs more money to like to get it. Decided you're gonna play and let the shoe. Come on, now you know Jordan Brand. <laughs> I mean, we can go back further now. When the Great Fives had came out with the Nike Air, what they do? They made the the, the Fresh the, Prince. Yeah, yeah the, with all laces. laces. With no laces. That was the dumb. I mean, we understood why he did it. I mean, to, no, just come out to, with the shoe to, with no laces. Be, exactly. No, to, yeah, that's what I'm saying. The medium was just like, no, the shoe came unlaced, but it came with the laces. It's hard for me to believe because that might have been around the entanglement time. Maybe people weren't thinking straight. Oh no, that was that, that was that, was that like, predates it like yeah, a couple that years. That predated, oh, yeah. few yeah. years. That was what? Uh, three that was, years that was pre pre tanglement. Yeah, pre tanglement. <laughs> why would why, why would he think about dog making that shoe? <laughs> exactly, he didn't even know. <laughs> it's Allegedly. just hard for me to believe. With as many people that's on campus, that probably walked past that table with that shoe there. Nobody objected to that. Nobody said, hey, this might not be but a good idea. But how many people there care like we care? There you I, go. I, I was going to say, you guys say it all the time. <laughs> there how many, you go. People, have you all, there you go. How many there people have you all seen that are there that they don't know anything about history? Uh, you know it's bad if uh, Joe Herbert's not buying them up. Yeah. He probably yes. did buy those up. <laughs> Uh, number two, we have the Air Jordan Retro 3 Georgetown that came out today. Um, I don't know. I wasn't that impressed with the shoe. It looks nice. Thank you. I mean, I'm, I'm, not, sure impressed. Like, I'm not saying it's bad. Going to get my pair of are, are you going to sign for yours when they come? Huh? Are you going to sign for yours when they come? I mean, the price is free. The price is free. Exactly, but you can't. Free is free. Because when probably, you really don't like a shoe, you don't care if it's free or not. You don't want it. Free is free. They at the door oh, right now. Free problem. is free. You hear this? Listen, I didn't say it was trash. The first thing I said was it's not trash. It's just I'm, if you was going to ask me to pay $200 for this, I'm good. Well, I would pass on them. Now, if you say free, now, if you say Hey, do you want these for free? Of course. I mean, they not get, he gets swoosh discounts. They are not <laughs> bad enough. You know, yeah. They are like, not bad could enough. <laughs> y'all yeah, finish? I probably could. No. Y'all finish? They not bad enough for you me got... to pass on when they're free. They're bad enough, or they're not as dope enough for me to pay two hundred dollars for. It. So That's what you I'm got saying. the all red ones, right? Just like that. Yeah, but you know I love red. Well, you got the black ones, right? <laughs> no, no, say, don't say oh, the black ones. Yes. yes. Yeah. You got the whites. You think you yes. got the whites. Yeah. So why? What's so different about that one? You got something because I'm blue? just not feeling it. You just don't like navy blue. 
He don't oh, like yeah, the color blue. I don't. He, he right. like all red. That let you know. Apparently, like, navy blue. The navy blue. <laughs> I mean, he I do got his black Wall Street outfit. Blah blah. Go ahead. But no, I mean, I just, I don't know. I, but I will say though, I like the fact that they put the white laces on them because that does make it pop. Like I said. Let me reiterate because Guru is going to make it sound like I said these shoes are trash. I didn't you say they're trash. You basically did. No, I didn't. Shoes are, you, I made you don't the buy the shoes, they're trash. Time out. No, there's a difference because <laughs> I could say, you know what, there's trash that I would never buy. And then there's stuff that's like, okay, you know what, on discount, if I saw this for a good price, i buy them. Definitely for free, I'll get them. They okay. They're okay. I just want to know what's so different from that all red shoe that make you want to buy it to this blue shoe the same way make you don't want to. I'm just saying it. colors uh, make a would, difference. It would though. be red versus blue. Maybe. Maybe. But, but you like navy blue shoes though, don't you? you yeah, yeah these are, these just not doing it for me. I don't know why. I can't tell you. Yeah, I'm just not, I have you know. seen you don't a know person? Why. Here? Thank you. That's my man. I don't know why. Like I just, it ain't doing it for me. <laughs> Some, <laughs> sometimes, have you not seen them? You haven't seen them in person yet. No, I haven't actually. Okay, yeah, you see that might change it. Sometimes. There is no, there's no answer. It's just you. It's just like Apple Jacks. It's like I just like it. You know what I'm saying? There's no reason why I like it. No, there's a reason why you like Apple Jacks because it tastes good. Exactly. God damn it. Exactly. You know, can, we play, can we play an Apple Jacks specific commercial? I can point to you, yeah. asshole. Huh? Can we reference or play an Apple Jacks commercial where it's like, fuck it, I like what I like. See, that, that, that's my guy. I got somebody. I got. Okay. Well, should, I move, a, should I move? Should I move? We'll yeah. play musical chairs next time. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, like, you want to hold his but, hand? Hey, some color oh, no, combos. <laughs> some color combos, like gray and navy, whatever. It works better with different materials. Like maybe if they were both suede, it would look better than leather. That would look nah, horrible. Nah, not suede, not leather. I'll reference. Great. I'll reference the America Andrew Reynolds two best navy gray combo show I've ever seen. Oh, for right. that color. It was Georgetown Elevens. Well, I'm saying like suede, suede, no leather. Oh, that was mentioned patent leather. I mean, I ain't seen a lot of blue and gray suede. I mean, you got the it's, questions. The questions. But that was, but that was on the toe with suede, but the other part was leather. I still take them Georgetown questions over there. You like Georgetown questions? Oh, yeah, Georgetown questions. <sighs> so, nah, now nah, we get somewhere. So, no, nah. I know. You, 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 <laughs> you know what I think it is? You know what I think it is? I mean, I didn't get those either, so. But do you like the shoe? Mm, not really. Mm, I, I wasn't that pressed nah, about it. Uh, like I, that was an easy pass for me too. I didn't get those. Didn't they do the uh, the Georgetown? Was that the answer for? That's uh, the first time they dropped them Georgetown questions. Because the, they, they did them together. Was no, that they, the did white, they did a white and blue one or gray and blue one. I forgot it was white and blue or gray and blue. Yeah, and it they was did, like white and blue. There's two It's three Georgetown questions. It's the gray blue suede blue suede toe. Then you got the that was the blue first with one. the gray suede too. And then you got the ones now the Reebok Classic because Invitational with the. Georgetown tribal print around the toe. Yeah, box. no, that was a terrible. I like oh, those. that was a horrible. Yeah, I don't like those. I, yeah. like those. I'm right, I might wear them next week for y'all. Uh, number one <laughs> is voted by our listeners oh, Nike shit. Kobe 6 Pro Cho All Star. I will tell y'all this mm -hmm. I got the sixes, and from what was that 2010 to Black History Month, and those are a size 11. I'm like 11 and a half, 12 now, and they still fit. I bought 11 and a half in these with my Grinches, and they fit so tight. I'm talking about bread 2012 type. <laughs> Boy, so like, yeah. if you got a wide foot, you might want to go up in these pro trolls. And that's the, now you're talking about how Nike changes things or Jordan brand changes things over time. That's one thing they do change is the cut of the shoe. Because I know like Air Jordan 12s used to be comfortable. Oh, now they cut to my feet. Now they kickball shoes for Ooh. sure. Boy, it's killing uh, my feet. Yeah, so. It's crazy, y'all. This Kobe love, too, with that. Just the regular I mean, all-star right, shoe. No, it's, it's the, yeah. I yeah. told my friends like he's not he's got the Tupac treatment now because of his early passing. Rest in peace to him. He's like putting the Escalon for now. Just like oh, he's legend status. Yeah, now. so it's like yeah. Pac, the same thing with Pac too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Big, it's just that passing just made them anything. Because you know why? When you die, people remember the greatness. You know what I'm saying? Like when you alive, people still. You, it's not as uh, taboo to give you hate. You know what I'm saying? Like when you die now, it's kind of oh, like I need the like even when you go to somebody's funeral, <laughs> they still be hating on people who pass. No, I'm but saying yeah. yeah, but over time though, like when you go to somebody's funeral, usually even if you got beef with them, you know what I'm saying, it makes you think of the good times. It makes you put aside that the problems you had with that person and remember the good things about. If them. there's real beef, I'm not going to your funeral. <laughs> what he said <laughs> Some people Depending on the relationship Like if it's a close family member Like let's just say Y'all had a falling out And then they die You know like, That's that, family, no, family you know, Dunk, Dunk said Dunk said he gonna go oh, To make sure you there Oh well, yeah <laughs> Like I said It depends There's levels to it Like you know If they slept with your wife Or something I can understand But if it's something like You know wow. All, all your little bit of money no, it's levels to this. The, you know what I'm saying? Like, if it's something small and petty, like y'all fell out over some money or whatever, I'm pretty sure if y'all was close at some point in time and you found out they died, you're going to be like, you know what? 
that money did not it pales a comparison to the relationship that y'all so had. So the people that you used to be cool with that you're no longer cool with, you would go to the pay their pay their respects. Depends on the person. That's what I said before. It depends on the person. No, no you said you had brought up family. I'm talking about outside of family. It depends on the person. Like it depends on the relationship we had and why we fell out. I mean that's fair. Yeah. So that. if it's a minor falling out, I'd go. But if it yeah. was like if we really don't get along, there's no need for me to be there. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think about like Easy E and Dr. Dre, like you know what I'm saying, like at the end where you know they resolve their issues or whatever. You know, like it's levels to it. And you know, time heals all wounds. So uh in any event, I don't know why we're talking about that, but ugly ugliest release of the week. Dunk's talking about death. Oh my goodness. That shit he usually look dead, so <laughs> it's a rough morning. Well, uh, the ugliest release of the week, the Adidas Yeezy three fifty Boos V two Ash Pro. I think that just dropped like an hour ago. Ah, that's not the nah, you just came bro. out. That's not you just, the You issue just breezed right through that. That's not the ugly issue that came out. I said what I said. That's not the ugly issue. I said what I said. Now, now you convince us that you do make this list. You said you're going to let the people pick. No, I, hey. I, I always pick the ugliest release. Hold up. Leave the picture up. Serious question. Yeah. You see there's no uh, heel tab, right? Yeah. I know you guys hate Yeezys, mm -hmm. but do you prefer it with or without the heel tab? I don't care. Uh, I genuinely prefer it with. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. I mean, you prefer it with because that's how the shoe was introduced to you when it first came out. In all fairness, so when they did the three packs on, that's the first time they removed it, and then they brought it back, and now it's kind of come and go or hit or miss. I don't know. Uh, I don't even know what the thought process is. I mean, it's not, that's not the ugly shoe I've seen. Like, do you prefer to have sex with Whoopi Goldberg with glasses on or glasses off? Like, on. Okay. Well... Some of us would just be like, no. What the hell kind of comparison? I'm just saying that something is bad. Something is bad. We definitely need to build. No, no, no. Just because you couldn't copy. Doing Women's Month. Doing Women's Month, too. I don't care. Wait, hold on. You don't care about Women's Month? Is that Dunk's One at a time. One at a time. He's referencing an old show because I think Whoopi is also a black Jew. Okay. I don't know what that means. But listen. What I'm saying is, are you saying is that Dunks wearing is that Dunks wearing glasses or is that Whoopi wearing glasses? Do you want Dunks to see what he's doing? I mean, does it really matter in this analogy? At this point. The point is, the point is, if I don't like something, like it don't matter what you add to it or what you take away from it, it still is. You had to use the black woman quote. Oh my god, let's not get sensitive now. Don't turn into sensitive. I'm not sensitive society. So I ain't worried about society. This is why I got a show and they don't. Um, but society watches the show. Okay, no, they used to it by now. Then <laughs> oh they should be used to it by now. Oh my goodness, man! Should be doing, look, oh my goodness! Change get, your eyes if that you, offends oh you, oh my goodness! If you that offends Amber you, had dinner before here. You came. If that offends you, <laughs> you are going to have a rough next month of shows. So get ready. I say you could use somebody else. Man. Well, I didn't. Why uh, didn't use Ricky man. Lake or somebody like that? Because oh. who thinks about Ricky Lake? Nobody who thinks about, about Whoopi Goldberg. Whoop, thank you. In that matter, Whoopi Goldberg is still on TV right now. Where's Ricky? But we don't okay. But no one so thinks you, about right. Whoopi Goldberg so in that view? light, huh? You watch the view? No, I watch the view. But I, okay, so I, I realize <laughs> just because. Exactly, exactly. Wait, wait, time out, time out, time out. Come up. Just because I don't watch the view doesn't mean that I'm not aware of the view and that she's on it. Uh -huh. There's a difference. You could have put you could you could have picked any other female. Would it have mattered? You yes, could have picked. Have. You could have picked. Have. Have. You could have said have. Barbara Walters, well, Martha, Martha Stewart. Not. You could have anybody else. Like, no, nah, Whoopi Goldberg came to my head. I'm not about to get up all sense. So you think about Whoopi Goldberg. Goldberg, huh? So you think yeah, about, yeah, Whoopi Goldberg. about Whoopi Goldberg? Yes, I think about Whoopi Goldberg all day, every day. I can't save yes. you from this one, Caesar. I, I don't need no saving. I mean, they they in their feelings. No, you need saving. Think nah, about that. Uh, my feelings because I didn't think about what was going on. Slam. Dunk. Oh, for real? Okay. All right. Cool. Did she tell you that you beat her? What? What? You beat me. Wow. <laughs> she do afterwards. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. On that note, what's our uh, what's our live chat looking like? It's probably real disrespectful <laughs> after right, that. Yeah. yeah. Wow. I'm not checking it. What's our what's our live chat looking like, uh, Adam? Uh, the, uh... Oh shit. Have we been canceled yet? <laughs> the view canceled us. Wow. Yeah. You haven't been canceled yet, but okay. that's good. All right. but it seems like they love Whoopi Goldberg and I do. All of YouTube yeah. is trashing the Yeezys. Thank so, you. Uh, Thank you. Although I disagree, I kind of agree with Dunks on this. But oh, I, uh, it's, oh my God, yeah, he's wearing wait. a pair right now. I'm not. I'm not, man. No, no, no. Um, God damn it, I lost my. Room. I forgot. I should kick you out the studio for wearing those. <laughs> Your feet gonna catch on fire. This is a Yeezy free zone. But no, so everybody agrees with me, though, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There we go. So I know what I'm talking about. Do they agree but with what you about Whoopi Goldberg? They probably agree with me on that one too. They all want to see. Uh, they all want to see Caesar and Whoopi. 
<laughs> go Thank <at> you. <laughs> well, they might have to wait much too longer. Oh, man, I don't I know. Mean, Depends yeah. on how much money you got. You trying to? We trying, trying to six track. figures? You got the gold on the day? We talking? <laughs> we talking six figures? <laughs> you could have picked Oprah. You pick Whoopi Goldberg. Okay, Oprah. Oprah. Like, pick a pick somebody. Nah, it's not Oprah. After we really? should get the okay, mic. Y'all go ahead. Go ahead. Facebook, Facebook what, wants what to know. Women? Let's go through the list of women that y'all would have rather me say. Facebook wants know. to know how much would it cost Keep to get you Keep in mind the context of what you was using a woman. How much would it cost? Yeah, 100K? Oh, six figures, at least. Three. 300k? Whoa, he whoa. said, whoa. <laughs> whoa. Yeah, yeah, you really might have to leave now. Man, it, was some, it was some passion in that. You've been, thinking, you've been thinking about that one for a while. Yeah. No, nah, I mean, well, <laughs> it depends on the person. Uh, but yeah, six figures. Yeah. So I'm going to bring it back to sneakers. And I know we got Air Max Day coming up. We got some Air Maxes on the table. Yes. Do you guys have any big plans for the holiday? Do you even consider it a holiday? No, no, no. I can't get work on It's not a holiday. Yeah. <laughs> That's actually a pretty good point. With the guru face? Yes, that's exactly how I feel about it. I concur those feelings. I will, okay. The 7th so, of June 19th, I'll take that I out. think Air Max Day is it's a not, week from today. So it's the 26th, right? 26th. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, next Friday. All right, so I will say this. As far as Air Max Day, so like Guru said, it's not a real holiday. However, in terms of sneakers, it is because it's something that we all look forward to. You already know, everybody named Mama going to be posting pictures of their favorite Air Max. Um... Next Friday or whatnot. Uh, There's going to be a, a plethora of shoes released the next week in anticipation for Air Max Day. So the only ones that really stand out to me are the Bacon Air Max 90s, which everybody knew I was going to go for. So yeah. you know, the, pretty much you have no shot, uh, unless you're Dunks, yeah, or any other bot retailer or seller or hype beast. Damn right. Uh, you're so proud of that. Um, <laughs> what else? Oh, it's the uh, don't the clots drop next week? Yeah, yeah. I think those might be Saturday. One's Friday, one's Saturday. And, and the, I, have I a, think the clots are Saturday, and I think we were talking the, about uh, the sock game. You got to rock to make those look right. But even with the sock game, like your feet still look stupid in them. You like, got to wear socks for sure, though. It just looks dumb. It just it looks like. You wearing like sneaker house shoes? Did y'all feel that way about the invisible uh, woman Air Force Ones, the 05 and 06? They're cool yeah. when they drop. You but still then, need yeah. socks. Yeah. No, 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 I'm oh, about this, even socks. with the socks. Even with the socks, you still don't think it's like cool. It's a. It just. It I just, never thought it was cool. First of all, when I first saw them, it was usually in like a pair of fakes. Mm. So even when Nike started coming out with them, I was like, are these real? And then when you, even I see people pictures like when you see the shoe by itself, it's like. Mm. But then when you see people actually wearing them, you see they feet in them. It's not a good look. I don't care what socks you're wearing. It just looks dumb. It's not me. something you could rock every day. Well, definitely. And well, I, why I, would you? And I often wonder. I often wonder too. How's that going to age? Because we all know how clear plastic, you know, yeah, eventually those, blondie, those blondies. Those blondies, for example, they yeah. use that clear material on every pair, and some are like completely transparent. Some are more of like a, an icy gloss, if you will. Yeah. But they uh, fog up, for lack of better words, pretty quick. Yeah, and so, and then once you crease them, and then that plastic. Oh, those creases are terrible. You yeah. can't iron that out. Yeah. So it's. Hey, you go melt the plastic. Yeah, literally. So I just, you know, for, and it ain't for me, but nah, I mean, if you, if you like them, I love them, you know, it's one of those things. I don't know which Air Max, I think if I had to go a pair, after a pair of Air Maxes next week, I, I guess it would be the Bacons, because I actually do like those. It was another There's pair. There's no voting system this year, unless I missed something. No, and I actually wish they would go back to that. Yeah, I think Wotherspoon. I mean, no. I know there's actually, actually no, 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 no. I take that back. Yeah, after the brown no. watch, the voting's terrible. You, what you just said, yo. Nah. Well, I think they introduced the voting when it was Wotherspoon versus I, you know, all the other designers. Camera guy, I like this camera angle right here. This is dope. You know what yeah, I like too? Reminds us of our Zoom calls in the summer. Oh, look at Dunks and Gino together. Listen, I like slam. This. Keep it here. Hey, this is good. I like this. I'm on camera now. I've been getting on the camera shine. I'll be out more famous though, so I understand. So here's the thing though, like as far what I guess what I was thinking about was when they let the um, it was in New York they let some people design the shoes and they came out on Air Max Day yeah, after well, us, well, after but, us, but after that us, was they like they got more options too though yeah but it felt like all they were yeah because it was uh, <laughs> they were doing the same program the Shaw did right wasn't it Man. similar to it it Man. was they, they uh, it was, it was the, the same draft. Pro, yeah, I was just saying it was the same program, but Actually, they had the, like to, the to level up. To put it, to, let me put it like it was, this. Yeah, it definitely. We was, was, was the Reebok up. meeting. They was the Adidas meet. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> there you go. So it was a hey, <laughs> let's test this out, right, see if yeah. it works. And then they was okay. the Adidas meeting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean. Hey, we got special guests. We ain't got enough. We ain't got enough time on the show for man. That's. <laughs> oh man. Every yeah okay. Basically, they, this is why I hate giving out ideas because. I mean, well, the thing that sucks with Air Max Day that I feel like they mess up on is they always re-release 
the same OG Air Max is like just throughout the year anyway. And the Bacons are heavily delayed. I mean, we've been hearing about them for quite a while. A couple fin- of years now. And at some point, they're like, fuck it, just slap it on Air Max Day. Like, we fumbled this holiday this year so bad, just give them the Bacons. That's kind of what it looks like. Yeah, honestly, I don't think they really had a plan for them. I mean, for Air Max Day this year. Yeah. From the looks of it. I mean, they got like a lot of Air Maxes coming out, but I mean, you look at it like this year's St. Patrick's Day. Like, I thought that shit was horrible. With both of them or the Air Force One wasn't that bad. The, the, the Air Max ninety wasn't that bad. The Air Max, yeah, it was. The Air Max ninety was pretty trash. I, yeah. I don't think it was that bad. It was, um, would, now would it be something I would have got? No, I wouldn't. But uh, well, so I must mean it's trash if you wouldn't burn. No, that's only uh, that's only in your case. Uh, oh, okay, yeah, that's only for you. Uh, okay. Uh, speaking of which, there are other shoes that are coming out that don't necessarily have a release date. Like Dunk <laughs> said, like you know, stuff is getting pushed back. Um, just non-stop because of you know covid just kind of just upended everything so especially with sb like <clears throat> normal nike retailers uh will get sent shipments and be told what date to drop yeah but sb um like premier for example like they'll get their sneakers and they'll be like okay you have to drop in this 10 day span and it's kind of like up to them if they want to do a raffle or like a shock drop or whatever you right. know what that's called uh backdooring nope it's called from 2000 to 2010 that was a real quick strike when the store got them and nike said as soon as you get them you sell them you didn't know whoever came in the store that day that's how they bought this shoe found out about the shoe that is a real quick strike people yep. not the oh we're gonna make some of these i'm gonna throw qs on them so that, so people can be more softer that is a real quick strike from my understanding now everything you said is true but like when an sb retailer gets a quick strike their whole thing is like okay locals only or like it has to be raffle versus no online releases and it, well is that the much store into. is that the store or is that nike's doing i'm not entirely sure i mean with sb quick strike is a rainbow box and they're just a lot stricter with that release procedure <clears throat> But I mean, everything's changed. Like they said, there's gonna be no dunks on sneakers app. Now there's dunks on sneakers app. Like SB is big again, and Nike is clearly uh, adjusting accordingly. Kind of like backpedaling. Kind of. Yeah. And shout out to the skate shops too, because it feels like with them, they care more about how that release is released. There is one skate shop in Howell. I'm not gonna say their name, but the only one in Howell. Um, I well, you don't have to say their name. If it's the only yeah, one, I, 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 <laughs> you might as well let me know because I do work out there, so I'd like to know. Actually. Uh, that's dangerous. Good. That's, that's, like, the, that's like me being like, how do you think I feel about you know, being out there? Is that the headquarters of the KKK? Yeah, that's like, it's, uh, yes. it's not fun uh, mm. every day. That's like me being like the white guy on the show. There's only one white guy on the show. <clears> like, <throat> Well, anyway, so hear me out. I won a, a raffle fair and square. I didn't cheat. I, I cheat when I can. Yeah. Um, but retail is $100, $110. I get there, and they're like, well. Look at Gruel's face when he said that. Like, he had, there was no shock on his face. Hopefully we capture like, that. He didn't flinch. He didn't react. Cause he... saying, the point of the story, I'll get it over. Some skate shops, they're, they're really true to their customer base. They do a good job, and others don't give a fuck. Um, and I walked in there, and they're like, it's $170. We're charging everyone more than retail because we know you guys are selling them anyways. Right. So it's like... That's so, that's reality. And the words of my on a t-shirt. Duh, real <laughs> talk. So the chickens have come on the man. roof, huh? <laughs> <laughs> that's what, moral of the story. That's what it is. Oh, yes. man. oh man. Oh man. They turned a reseller. They turned a reseller who's acting like a customer and giving them the resale treatment. Yes. It's terrible. I don't yes. agree with it. But since they know what y'all do, that's why discretion is key in your field. Because you don't want to come off as that. So you can try to buy your shoe as low as possible without those issues. Yeah. But when you knock yourself out here known like that, of course I'm going to tax you. Because I know what you're about to do with it. But you know these people out here no, want I that get it. So, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Exactly. I mean, right? I, I know shop owners that have literally <laughs> just sold their product on StockX. And keep in mind, they're paying MSRP. Oh, they're, they're the not even ones. paying I know some retail. stores too that's doing it. They ain't the only ones. Yeah, yeah, some in Detroit. Detroit. Some in Detroit that do it. <laughs> Yeah. The thing is, <laughs> Nike, Nike is able to investigate this. For example, if a if a store no, gets they'll early investigate pairs, internally, so we know what they're gonna do abroad. But so. I'm saying, if a pair sells on Stock X, they could look into it and see where it originated from. Emphasis on could. Here's my thing. Here's my thing. If they don't mark the box like they will mark money, how would they know where that box came from? RFID tags. Yeah, it's oh, inside no. the shoe. Yeah, that's, it's that's kind of like think blockchain for mm. a lack of better explanation. Yeah. yeah. They have a way of knowing. Because even when I get my pairs, they'll it's tell me. We'll Nike, know if you sell them. Nike I'm just like, got a patent for this new technology of pretty much blockchaining sneakers. Right. I mean, yeah, they know. I was, so, that's what I was saying. It's I was smart, but they got to actually care. But my, well, yeah. well, no, they just, it's public relations. Yeah, exactly. Um, Shout out Heidi. But if somebody if I buy, buy the shoe and then sell it, it's going to say I came from this store. But how would you know of it? If this, say, if you own the sneaker shop and you had this little kid sell on StockX for you, so he can come off as a customer. I guess if they see your entire inventory on StockX, yes. you know what I'm saying, like the same day 
the, of the release. But my thing is, as that's a, 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 as a, as a shop, my name and you as a shop time. owner, yeah, for sure. What you, what you think I do now? As a shop owner, when you said the same thing to them, like, no, I agree with I you. I saw your whole inventory in the warehouse in Portland. I agree with you. <laughs> so I mean, but that's why I said they gotta actually care about <laughs> right. it. Right. Now, they don't care. They get their check on. No, no, they, they care about it because we've seen people get let The last five to seven years. Nike, or not even Nike, but skateboard shops in general haven't been killing it. Like, it's kind of a way that's up and down, right? Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, they've got massive amounts of traffic of people flooding their stores for these SBs. Right. And it's like, they know damn well, they've never seen this kind of demand, they've never had this much traffic, and no one's buying product for their stores. So like now people are like, oh, for every $20 you spend, you get an extra raffle ticket, and they're just, it, it's almost, it's like the devil on the show, like, how can you not take advantage of some of these opportunities? Or it's like, they know we're gonna sell it to you for 100 and you're gonna get 500, like, fuck it, of course they're going to backdoor some. Mm, I guess that's the age we live in, I guess. I just love Guru's reaction every time you talk. It's hilarious. No, the, the first one, um, though, man. We got to yeah, put that on the yeah. shirt, man. Like, seriously. Um, I'll rock it. Coming soon. Like I said, there's some shoes that are dropping on no set release date, but there's a certain window of time to where, you know, you want to start looking. Because uh, like Guru said, because I think they did drop a shoe already this year. It was a quick strike where we didn't see it coming. It was just, I forgot what shoe it was. Um Maybe as we go through the list, it'll come back to me. But anyway, let's start with this shoe. And this goes back to what we was talking about, how Nike has a good idea as far as, like, rip-off, you know, material and all that shit. This first shoe. The it Nike better Armor. Not, it huh? better not be that up-tempo. It is. The up-tempo maximum I wonder volume. how I got on here. <laughs> <laughs> Dang! Dang, go! Yeah. And it's like on air on the side. <laughs> so this shoe, first of all, this I'm so confused. Nike already been coming out with the Air Maxes with the uh, the paper on there. They did an Air Force One. They got that's what I meant. Yeah, I'm yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah, Air, Force air Force One. One. I'm sorry. That look aged and look like it's been sitting in the box for like but why ten years. Like who thought that was a good look at this shoe and it's like okay, mm. like what what part of this is dope? Because underneath it is basic as hell. It's like the car you drive around before you just you show it to the world. All like right, this man. comes off. Right? Who is this? Right, that's bad analogy. This is dumb. I mean, it is. It's, like it's, that. A, it's, it's it a trash like that. idea. I mean, it's, it's not, yeah. not, it, it is like that. It just rap better. Like, it, you, a, I, don't, I don't understand it either. Like, bro, we know what the Explorer look like. So you covering a zebra print ain't going to like me. That's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> so, like, I'm just but, trying to think, like, is this the extent? Of, this kind of makes you wonder if Nike is, like, struggling creatively. The terrible thing has evolved to this. That, which brings me back to what I said. Like, stop. Stop doing the tearaway thing Because this I, is what you're going to do now The only problem I don't have with this shoe Is the homie Wilson Was it Wilson Smith, right? Yeah If he getting royalties off of it I think they do get royalties That's the only thing That's, that's the, the only positive problem, that That's the only this, thing I don't get Which I doubt No, I, I was told by somebody there That they, they get royalties If you design a shirt or something Or shoe, you get small but that's, Okay, well if that's the case If then, that's the case, know, then yes I'm that bringing, would, yeah, I'm So you been getting any royalties? No, because he didn't sell them all Say what now? He's wearing my royalties and it feels so good. <laughs> hey, um, man, I'm going to keep it coming. So I started seeing boxes at my door. Hey, man, you know, it's going forever. And I all asked for was LeBron that may be You the, sent him the whole National Hockey League. All I asked was for one jersey, Mitchell Ness. Which camera? Just one jersey, man. One little Cavs jersey. You got to look at Mitchell Ness the same way you looked at Dunks. No, that's they ain't going to give it to me. They ain't so give it to you yet anyway. Because like, like, I ain't asking like that. But you should be vouching for you, man. I but have vouched for you. You influencer, though. I right, look. Obviously, I'm not. If I he was can't. like, you know what? I was gonna actually get Guru this, this jersey, but I need this Bobby Orr jersey. I need this Gordy Hall jersey. I need this uh, Wayne Gretzky, Los Angeles Kings, St. Louis Blues, Edmonton Oilers jersey. I need Allen Iverson jersey that the NR turn doesn't have. I mean, that's how you talk to him. It's like using the phone with us. Um, no. <laughs> 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 this, next <It's> shoe, terrible. <laughs> this next shoe is supposed to come out in April, uh, and that's the Sean Wetherspoon Special Adidas Special Edition Adidas uh, Superstar Super Earth. I don't know who I'm more disappointed in, Sean Wetherspoon or Adidas. Both. Yeah, I was going to say. My he, to be both. Whether you like him or not, he had so much potential, and even when he was on, a, was it Asics after Nike? Mm -hmm. I get some people didn't like it, but it still carried the hype. Where Adidas was just like, all right, do this many shoes and ruin it as fast as possible. Play with some Legos in the process. Uh, I mean, I, I, the all right, one if this thing shoe I had hype, would you still say the same thing about it? it I think if the people first wanted one was it, hype people when it came you up out. about it, would you still say it was ugly and trash? Yeah, because, I mean, this exact shoe came out in white. And no. then they did another one that was even worse. But they made it worse with the colorway behind it. Like, the all-white, I could... Even though I wasn't a fan of it, it was like... It's, it wasn't on my most hated list. The only thing I give them credit for with this, as opposed to the Asics, is you just basically took the same thing you had with Nike over to the Asics, and you said, oh, let's 
Let's remove each one of the ASIC logos. No, he's literally the there. same thing, but left and right has to be a uh, night versus day. Yeah, literally. It, it, at least with this, you know, there seems to and be I mean, some form a, of he creativity. He looks like a free spirited person, so I expect this type of creation from him. Yeah, the creation. I'm talking about the colorway, recycled materials, earth friendly. The colorway is what I'm having a problem with. Right. It's like you made you made it worse. Mm. Like those colors, I don't know. Those colors, right? This it ain't messing with me. Oh, that green, black, was, and orange, or is that red? Blue? Every every well, episode, you don't we like say, green, black, and red. <laughs> Stop it. That's crazy. Every episode, you see, he said he like he said the white one looked better. <laughs> That's crazy. Yo, man. Hey, black man. Man. I'm really trying. They, they done got to you. You got to be on your hat. You hey, had on the black y'all color. Really trying. You got on black. Talking about the black y'all one. Really the right one. With the yellow and the black you know, on it. You hey, got y'all really trying. Hey, look, he going to drop the African from his name and just be Caesar. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, y'all try. Okay. All right. Cool. Regardless how you feel about that shoe, though, this just proves our point. We talk about every week. Adidas always takes the A list celebrity or whoever's hotter. They always have access to every opportunity they could and they find a way to kind of kill it a little bit or to not use it to its full advantage i mean when you do a collaboration and you are working with somebody so even if they say you know what that looks ugly sean and it's like well i really like it so i mean it was ugly you look at when you look at the shine the shoe for people like shine weatherspoon they'll say that adidas should look ugly we said that shine weatherspoon collab didn't look right it's hard to take so that much face like, value when they drop yeezys the way they drop them and then so i mean i do give adidas a little bit they seem like they give a little bit more control over their collabs to the people they collab with which is why they prefer to work with them because they do have more control well, yeah you know what i'm saying like they give them so i give them credit for that, that. i mean not to say we haven't seen ugly nike collaborations mm. but nike usually exerts more control yes yeah. talking about creative control are we going to discuss kanye and what he's claiming he's worth and then what bloomberg's saying he's worth no i think forbes is disputing it i think and We'll, we'll get into that well, we get to the it all comes to did he, is he doing better than michael jordan he says yes and they're not making enough shoes no. that's the that ne- all, ne- next shoe next shoe yeah let's get to it yeah, yeah, we gotta get to it let's get through the list there's the headline the and then there's reading the article but uh the next shoe <laughs> speaking of uh kanye uh the adidas Jizzy 500 high frosted blue this is another shoe supposed to come out in april so I was talking to uh, I was talking oh to someone God, about this. Bro. It looks like a customizer. It's all right. It's all right. Okay, bro. It looks like a customizer was preparing this to start working on it, like the taped up. You know, that, yeah. you, you, give, you giving it too much credit. Just I, say I, it's trash. And cool. then it's and then cool Kanye tweeted something about hating the color blue, and then he drops this. I mean, I, because that's his preference. When you sell the shoe, you sell it to the people who are going to buy it. Fine. So sometimes your preference takes a backseat in some instances. And then who knows? But to when, me, who knows when the shoe was actually done before it got produced? So I mean, I not think, to mention Kanye doesn't actually design the shoes. But go ahead. So, and on top of that, he's also pretty, you know. So I think you, so you say you say like Adidas, so you like. say that Adidas designers design all these shoes, right? That's what you said. Yes. What's his name? So Smith why did they come out with this Kanye. shoe before his collaboration? Why didn't they? Yeah. The same reason why they don't come out with shoes until time out. That's they soul, doing a shoot. Now I'm pretty sure they yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about just that. like just like Tinker Hatfield designed the Jordans. Now Jordan might say, "Hey, can I get finger holes in the sixes, or can I get this on a on a shoe?" But Tinker overall designs the shoes. As a matter of fact, if you look at the patents, it's all Kanye owns well, the he's name. A designer, Easy. we're talking about a Kanye so, owns exactly, and they have Adidas has designers that designs the shoe. Now Kanye might come in and say, "Hey, I like this part of the shoe. I like that." But they're overall designing the shoe, which is why their names are on the design patents and his is not. He owns the name Yeezy, which is just as valuable, I guess. Whereas he doesn't actually. He's not sitting down sketching out the Yeezy five hundred or the Yeezy three fifties or whatever. If somebody else designing those, he might give his okay or his blessing. He might offer some input. I believe he has so a lot wait, to do so with the So what he's doing, he's basically, basically doing the same thing that Jordan now does with Nike. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay, just so my thing, because people, people like give, okay, it's okay for Michael Because when we talk Jordan. about Jordans, we know Tinker Hatfield design. We don't say Michael Jordan design. Well, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like if you were doing that before, like Tinker's a designer, so that's kind of right, right. you, but... But Kanye is just like if you had all these ideas before, you could have put them out prior to. It's something with the he gives his okay or whether he tweaks or whatever design or inspiration he's giving you yeah. that's helping you produce. But that's like this. saying, well, why didn't Nike put off the Jordan twelve before day, Jordan got I'm there? I'm not saying he's not every day building the mold and everything. I'm saying like yeah. his input is somewhat valuable for you to make some designs that prior to him coming, or if he left today, I don't think. I mean, they probably will still make them because like when with Nike, when somebody leaves, they're still kind of. Yeah, I mean, and, and let's be honest. They kind of were. I mean, they were making the NMDs. Now they weren't moving until Kanye got there, and that's part of what he's able to deliver is hype. Just saw. I mean, so they were what... making sock runner type shoes before. 
so. he got there. So it wasn't like all of a sudden and Nike Adidas was doing it before epiphany. them anyway. That's, I think huh? I mean, Nike the, was doing it before the them anyway. Yeah, that's true. They had the, ro- they had the Roshis. A and that's the, yeah, the like, free I mean, runs. Roshi yeah. and free runs. It's the same thing. Yes, it's exactly the same thing. I mean, but in fashion, you. They all steal from each other. It's over. Well, we agree on that. Yeah. Like, I mean, so that's why I think I feel like he gets he does some designing, but I feel like it's understand. Like, more, no, I mean, I agree with you. Yeah, I feel yeah. like his credit, as far as design, is somewhere in the middle because I think yeah, people so don't give him enough credit, and yes. I think there's people that give him too, too much, much credit because yeah. they think saying. he's like, sitting he, there with a sketch pad. Yeah. Like, all right, here's the next Jeezy. Like, no, that's oh, yeah, not he's not like Paul George. Like, okay, I like that. Or give me an air bubble. Like, he's doing a little bit more than that. Yeah, that's all. I'm not saying it's a good thing, but I know he is heavily involved in in color selection, though. Oh yeah, he's yeah, definitely. Yeah. You can tell. <laughs> so, Here's yeah, another one, brown Yeezy. The one, the one you showed uh, last week, the one you had last week, that navy orangish looking oh, one. Boy. Like that was yeah, yeah I was struggling horrible. just looking at it. Uh, the next shoe, this shoe is supposed to come out sometime this spring. That's the Nike Women's Dunk Low Purple Pulse. Um, honest, I cannot be honest. Like honest, I, I don't get the excitement around these types of dunks. Like they just seem basic to me. Are she leaving? I think AJ leaving. Well, go ahead. Did she? Yeah, she right there. Oh, yeah, oh wow. Get hey, stop her. She in that green truck. Yeah. Oh, yeah green <laughs> Once again, truck. the perks are doing a live show. <laughs> yeah, this is full <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah. 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 Stop before these, you these dunks, I'll say it's nothing special, but it's a solid, solid, bold colorway, and dope that it's a woman's shoe. Yeah, but I mean, like you said, they. this is kind of like the thing that they've been doing so far this year. It's, anyway. it's not necessary, but I don't hate it. Yeah, I mean, it's all right. I mean, it's cool that it's a women's shoe, though. Hopefully, they actually stay. Just being a woman's shoe. Well, they just did a high top uh, purple woman's shoe. Yep. I forgot the varsity purple or something. Yeah, it was yep. a little bit darker purple. Um, wow. <laughs> we, the perks of having a live show and the perks of having interns. Um, anyway, right, right? Guru did just like summon them. Like, yeah, hey, you go out there, stop her. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the next shoe, I know everybody's gonna be looking forward to. Once again, this is supposed to come out in the spring. That's the Nike LeBron Eight South Beach. Um, I can't wait. Nah, I hope you can. Hey, this is going to ruin shit for Guru. <laughs> <laughs> no, because this shoe, I, this shoe when can. it came out, was a classic. And it kind of, this is probably one of the highest reselling LeBrons there is or or was. Is that and, what make it a classic? No, but what I'm saying is with them. <laughs> you know that's what you going to say is making it a classic. With them releasing this. Because I know Dunst is going to say something that's going to spur him. Go ahead. I'm no, gonna talk I, I, I know no, too. No, 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 yes. This is a, this is a sad <laughs> reality I'm trying to prepare him for as a friend, if if you will. But when this friends now? I'm trying. But when this drops. This is going to start a whole new resale culture on LeBron's. So that's going to fuck shit up for people like you. Yeah. All the coveted ones you like that you don't have, prices are going to go up because of this re-release. Okay. This is going to bring attention to LeBron's, all of them, no matter what. So, I mean, I feel like the attention is brought to him anyway, because like now Zoom generations are selling like crazy. The LeBron sevens are well. Hell, I mean, actually, look, hell, the LeBron a, threes. Attention, no, attention, attention has been there, but, but I'm out. telling you, this is going to change it. But up time out, guru, guru, remember when the black and gold threes came back out? How quickly those sold out? Mm-hmm. If who you're care, who cared fan, about LeBron threes before then? Yo, no, if you're a LeBron fan and there's an old pair you want, get them before these come out. Because prices are all going to go up. I mean, that's, you can say for any shoe now. This, I mean, this is, this is, this is my, 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 this is my beef, right? The same way how you feel like you genuinely like dunks when nobody else did, now that because they're hype, it makes it harder for you to go get the shoes yeah. that you want to recop. Like, that's the same feeling that you're going to have here. It's like, no one touched your shoes. I mean, they did to a certain extent, but far as hype, now I'm going to be harder for me to get a shoe I genuinely like and care for. I might have to pay an extra $200 for to buy a shoe because somebody else who sees it as a dollar opportunity is going to use their buys or whatever it means they have to push me out. Like, that's the unfair fairness and the reality of the sneaker game is when you genuinely like a shoe you have a connection for nostalgia for whatever you have to pay that resale value because it's people who's in the culture not for the money not for the novelty but for the to see it as a dollar bill it kind of sucks and he i mean so when i hear a reseller say come in the store like i want that shoe and i couldn't get it i'm like dog karma came and knocked on your door huh because you that's how you everybody else feel every saturday you know what i'm saying so i mean i understand what it is and then nike with their their release policies and how they do things don't make it help and then when they make stuff limited or whatever but it is what it is if so. i could be honest i wasn't really i remember when they originally came out like the eights and the sevens in particular mm-hmm. and I, but over time like the sevens grew on me that's mm-hmm. why like, now when the sevens drop i buy them now i'm still not really that sold on the eights have I mean, you ever tried them all no I mean, yeah. LeBron, and I gotta give it to him. No, LeBron's, that, that's what I was gonna say if you actually I, listen, if you actually try them on the eights lebron's have amazing. to be one of the best Performance basketball shoes, like ever. Like I, I have to give it to him. Like especially his most recent ones. 
Yeah, I think a lot of people. I feel like his shoes are if you two twenty and up is. Certain no, there benefit. are songs like the Thirteens were trash. Yeah, the Thirteens I couldn't deal with. They were super tight. But um, like I said, it's, I look forward to hopefully getting the shoe. You know, well by every means I have to get it. But it's sad that we have to come in that with shoes you genuinely care for. Now you gotta pay those extremes amount of money for it because of. You know, but I that's accept been a, it for what it is, but you can still call it. I've been until the tape for like three yeah, years. I mean, now. the, the Dodger Sevens came out in Europe, so I got going to stock X again. I don't know why they didn't come over. They're supposed US to be with, like a uh, LeBron watch. Release yeah, that's uh, the Hard World Classic Eights are about to drop. So they had the Navy. They had made him like a free agency pack. So if he had yeah. went to the Knicks, that once again, it's more of a quick strike. Well, yeah, so I'm like, if, I'm yeah. like so they said stores were getting them though. So I look forward to getting out there. Or orange, blue, orange, blue suede with the orange bottle. Hmm, okay. Yeah. Uh, here's a summer shoe for y'all guys to look uh, forward to. It's the Power Special Edition Nike SB Dunk Low. Um, not the white ones. This is a black pair, I think. No, it's a brown pair. No, 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 not those. It's like a That was the first one. Then they did like the black Navy pair? Friends and Family. I didn't know until a couple of years ago that's a black owned spot. So I definitely got patronized. That's in France, more. right? Yeah, I got definitely yeah. patronized more. But yeah, so. I don't know if it's in France. I thought it's in Paris or something, right? Yeah, it's a little Paris yeah. is in <laughs> Paris. Oh. Paris? I don't think they are. They're in Paris? I don't think so. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they are. Well, I mean, because I don't. <laughs> he said it wasn't in France. I'm thinking like then he said Paris. Paris. I sent it in. Uh, <laughs> no, I've been, to, I've been to. I mean, it I should could be in be the wrong, file. But I've got dual citizenship and I, I haven't heard of them out there. You got dual citizenship where? Right. In France. Really? really? Yeah. Why the fuck are you here? France, so just in case you want it for tax taxes or something, you that's just... I used to I used to travel to France, come back with sneakers. No one wears a size eleven out there before the hype. It was easy. Wow. Now they won't even ship to me. It doesn't even matter if I could buy their websites. Good luck trying to ship international right now because I'm pretty yeah, sure well, you Nike can wait a month. It. Oh, did they? Yeah, you, like Adidas will still ship, but stores aren't supposed to sell Nike products. Even Asia, Europe, we're not um, going in between regions anymore. Hey, I'm gonna mess with Adam. But that's crazy. Hey, Stick was here. <laughs> <laughs> well, no. Is he awake? Oh. Para might be no, Amsterdam he's or something. No, I'm saying, is Adam awake? No, he's awake. He, he is. Yeah. He's sure? feverishly trying to find the shoe. I sent him. Uh, but no, why he? Why we waiting on Adam to get his act together? Uh, go shout to MJ. Anybody what remember MJ? What up, though? No. She used to be on the show. Now she's too big for us. Yeah. There oh, we go. Those? There it is. Yeah. Mm. Once yeah, I know, mm. I know. I mean that white, that I white know. bottom is just. Mm. Ain't even the white bottom. It's the upper for me. Uh, it's it's the entire shoe. The, yeah, we, let's go I like that. the laces. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, no, like how you go like because the, the first pair was dope, and then uh, this is a definite the, the, step backwards. The, the guru moans are just telling me everything I need to know about the shoe. Like yeah. <laughs> it's like I don't he know. It's like, it's like around. double dutching. You ever like uh, like dang if this if it was brown it was white then I could rock it in the summer. But if that other panel was that like brown, maybe that's what it green, is, that brown. I could do it in the fall. But it's like it's a black on spot, so I'm trying to like and patronize, but it's tough. So it's like that brown ain't doing it. Now I will say though, because this once again. You know how you like not like a shoe, but then it grows on you. Because mm-hmm. I remember when the uh, sevens came out, the Jordan sevens. I'm they confused, did. man. I'm just sitting here looking at them. I don't. I don't even know how I feel. I know if you, do don't you like know. Them. Do you know what color it was? I don't want to play this game right now. Okay. What? It was he, a whole bunch color of colors. Blind. He can't see. We can't see colors. I get it mixed up. Yeah, That's how just did, his go-to. So how, do get a, how do you get a red confused with a green? That's the most common. I swear to God, red and green is. Uh, like statistically the most common uh, colorblind mix up. You're supposed to know really? that. I get blue and purple green? mixed up, green and brown, he just red and green. His beard just oh, no, you just thought guru. I know so, his, his beard so just lit like, It absorbed the you, knowledge. So did you like, so how when you order a shoe, do you like, dang, it's not the right color I want it? Do you remember when I wore the Chateau, the Maison Chateau Rouge to the yeah. studio? Yeah, yeah. Yo, I was like, was horrible. I was, <laughs> no, not over that. Uh, well, I was gonna say it's <laughs> like super hit or miss. Not that rem- <laughs> that, like, that off, roasted but... tomato salsa sriracha pants you had. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out our former sponsors. Wow. What do you call it? Roasted frosta. <laughs> roasted what? what? Sriracha? I'm mad. Roasted I'm tomato a... salsa sriracha pants you had on. Oh, the what was it the burnt orange joints? Thank well, God do. the camera only shows. <laughs> I, I do love though. I love the fact that like for a brief second it seemed like you was giving the Guru some knowledge. Mm. For oh, a brief slight, second, slight, 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 slight. it wasn't sneaker slight. related though. So <laughs> no, but still, well, that's like, why he's Guru. He knows everything. Like, because I think it had to do with the fact everything. that one, somebody's giving Guru knowledge, and then two, of all people, is you. I'm glad that you can learn from my disability. Oh, I don't, I'm, 
you, you you can't be someone of knowledge if you don't constantly learn. So you know, I don't see, know everything. See, I see just how you just dropped that real quick. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I, I think that's how you. you I, know, really, I, I like that though, ladies and gentlemen. That was a rare occurrence of uh, humble guru. Humble guru. Yeah, <laughs> hey, his, his very LeBron, humble. His LeBron very experience humble. and my dunk experience. You think I get a slam dunk? Slam. <laughs> you said you said layup. 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 You said layup. Layup. Wow. You know what? That's hey, progress. That's still progress. Yeah. That's, that's still progress. progress. <laughs> All right, then this last shoe. There's not really any pictures for this, but this last collection is the uh, off white Nike Dunk Low, the 50 collection. Why are we even talking 20. about this? I'm supposed to drop this fall. The 20 collection, and there's been a lot of. I've heat. seen 50. Well, let me, I've let seen me, the let 20. Let me over because there, there you go, to, right there. Dunks about, about to turn to the Phoenix oh, Ashes. So check this out. <laughs> what colors do you see, Dunks? <laughs> it doesn't matter. Yeah, let me know what color in the top left. <laughs> Pie got if this one. Like levels for high beats, it'd be like Ultra Instinct. <laughs> All right, pink, orange, yellow, purple, green, blue, red. Everything. Ah, but, yeah, you almost made the purple. Go ahead. Uh, but <laughs> it's as we know, Pirates did the wow. Photoshop, and we do know there's going to be 20. And Nike and Virgil have lost their goddamn minds putting this many out. Because uh, they're buying a bit to do that. It started with the three, but it's like no, because it's going to water it down. But I just tell you, you go buy is these. It? You buy I think these. So. Come on, yeah, bro. yeah. This is too much. This yeah, is absolutely it's gonna water too it much. Down. Then I mean, you can't resell for what it used to be. Able but to. resell aside, resell aside, it's. This is too much. I'm happy to as a consumer. One, like, I can actually have a chance to maybe buy the shoe. They can. They could have done other silhouettes. I like or it. more colors of already existing silhouettes. No, if it makes it difficult for you, touch any other If it makes it difficult for you, I like it. This, this makes it easier <laughs> for everyone. And I'm the contrarian. Yeah. No, but I haven't felt so much hate come from one person in my life. The point That's of not hate, though. No, no one's hating. Like, hey. it's so hard to, I said, if it's hard Even though we know that bunks, d- bunks. Dunks is bunks. a... Bunks. Even though we know Dunks is a reseller. Got that B all them B's just, on. Just, That's why. Just, I'm a sneakerhead, too. <laughs> that was good. I was going to say, you are wearing a Brooklyn Dodgers or a Boston Red Sox. Is, is that Boston? Brooklyn? I, I, couldn't okay. find a Bru- I couldn't find a Bruins hat, okay. so I just went Well, check Boston. it out. Those wow. dunks, whether, whether we're happy there's 20 off-white dunks coming or not, and last week we said Pi does a good job with their, their Photoshop. That's not accurate. That's not what the sneakers are going to look like, and it's been confirmed most of those are off in terms of colorways. I'm just happy yeah, I the, made the, 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 the But it's still going to be, it's still gonna 20 be like 20 different. Dunks. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to wear any one of them. You might have to go to Wayne Enterprises to use his body. You know, if, if, to <laughs> to call this, instead of 20 more off-white dunks, give us this one so SB technology. off-white dunk. We got Lucius Fox working. <laughs> you know, but hey, instead of this, 20 times in shitty sparkly colorways, give us a low top, a high top, a mid top, an SB, a fat tongue, like something. No. I'm so, over it, so, bro. So, so, yeah. if, so if a Nike rep is listening and said, you want me to drop these releases, but yet... These are not going to be for your personal consumption. You're going to actually flip and make these a profit. I'm trying Why to pull a guru and say, here's a little bit of knowledge because you're doing it wrong. But we've all been doing it wrong. So if they don't listen to me, they ain't going to listen to nobody. Oh, when they listen to C's. So I'm no, they listen to C's when C's takes ideas. I just play the tape. You. I play the oh, tape yeah, you gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. My name's Dunce, exactly. and yes. I'm not happy. That's... That's what it is. Oh, now you're a Nike what are you, consumer. Now you're a Nike a- consumer. A- a- like. <laughs> <Right>. Yes. <laughs> After the show. I think I literally felt the world stop spinning when you said that. So, yes. <laughs> Mine's still spinning. Yeah, well, that's because you from your something. So <laughs> from <laughs> what we say? Uh, Michelle Pfeiffer? Yeah, Michelle Pfeiffer and Scarf. <laughs> <laughs> that white goat. <laughs> Turned up so much, I thought it was Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> so, 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 what? you trying to say that? Oh, and not racist. Okay. His womb is polluted. Yeah. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Uh, <laughs> that, what, what movie was that? Scarface. Uh, no, not talking about the. They were trying to get the dude pregnant. What was that the Danny DeVito on a sports movie? Oh, Junior. 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 Oh, yeah. that was movie Junior. That's a classic. Oh, they were trying to get the guy to have a baby. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that was weird. <laughs> That's you. Danny or Arnold? That's definitely a '90s movie. I don't like this analogy. More probably more <laughs> Danny DeVito. Well, community forum. <laughs> uh, this is when we ask the community some questions. Uh, you guys can, like I said, either hit us up on the voicemails and let us know what you think, or hit us up in the live chat or in the comment section below. Uh, first question. This is something I thought of, you know, to kind of get outside of the normal uh, brands that we talk about. Even Athletics, you know, they've been doing somewhat <clears throat> decent last few years. However... I do think they're getting a little too heavy with the collabs with like music acts that nobody cares about. Like, I don't know how many collabs they did with the Outlaws. I'm like, who's checking for the Outlaws since like '98? Nobody. Never know. And, like, who's checking for him right now? Like, I don't even. Matter of fact, if Pac wasn't on the song, like I wouldn't check him for him either when he was alive. So, you know, they did like three or four collabs in the last two years with them. I forgot who else they did collabs with. Capone and Noriega. I like Capone and Noriega. So I do too. I, 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 I can see one collab, but like 
you know, the number of collabs that uh, they're doing back to back to back to back. They did a collab with the Outlaws? A number of them. Oh, they yeah, they did do that. Yeah. yeah. What, I'm just gonna what'd like, you do with that one? Donate free it. is free, right? Donate it. Oh, you donate? I donated it. He sold it. <laughs> Trust me. Yeah, you going to say it. Trust me. You're terrible, When nobody buying it. Because you got Nike now, nah, he's like, I don't nobody need you buying guys. It. I, had to, I donated it. Like, that's what I usually do. If I get something and I, you know, I don't like it, I donate. I donate it. Do you to tell the brand? Do you tell the brand? Who do you donate a fifteen to? That's not an athlete. I mean, I don't know. That, I, mean, I will assume that there's another fifteen out there. So if there is, here you know, uh, <laughs> save us and DePaul. I said, who do you donate it to? Corner, <laughs> just leave it. I there. don't donate it to a particular person. I donate it to like save us and DePaul or to um, what's the other one? Um, I don't know. You so far out. Not Goodwill, you might have mailed it Salvation Army. Oh. So they do what they want with it. So. Somebody get some use So out that's of it. why I be seeing all them size fifteens in Burlington. <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> but hey, look, if it's a Ewan, then you know who it came from. Yeah, exactly. All, of, all them size fifteens. But uh, <laughs> they, they might see. have art. They might have them art. <laughs> 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 I'm right. like, dang, I seen these on C's. Huh? But uh, but no. So I actually like Ewan Athletics, uh, but I, I wish they would kind of get away from doing all the collab. I don't know how anybody else feels about them. Because a lot of collabs be like hit and miss. Like they be rather basic. And I don't know if they thinking that the name of the person to collaborate collaborating with is going to push. I'm not a, I'm not a product. fan of a UN athlete. So I think the last shoe that I actually thought was dope was my, was probably my favorite one is the uh, Mosh. Um, with the Ace Ventura sure. joints. Nah. I mean, I Wait, like was the, that, was that the original one wasn't that. The was it mass produced? Was I don't know if it was mass produced. But, but was it like a. It was available on the website. It probably still But was it like by the customizer or was it like by yeah. the company? By the uh, customizer. Okay, where? Yeah. He, he did a collab with him. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not I'm not a fan of you on athletics. Shoes is too it's too bulky. That is kind of bulky yeah. and hot. Like I mean, if you're looking for a winter shoe, yeah. that's, that's definitely it's yeah. not my thing. No, yeah. But no, I do that's like That's probably why you donate all of yours. No, I don't donate all of them. Tax right off. Two of them. Exactly. Say so what? So Tax we know you gonna donate them Georgetowns? What Georgetowns? <laughs> the threes. The one that's I told you I keep it for free. Like those I keep for free. But you got the U ones for free. I didn't like them though. You just don't like these. Yeah, you did I said they were like, okay. You said I didn't you actually like, like them. Mm, they'll move the needle for me. You see that? You didn't switch no, them. what I said was I'm not paying two hundred dollars for them. Hold on, wait a minute. <laughs> Once again, just because y'all don't understand nuance, don't mean that I said something wrong. What I said was I'm not paying two hundred dollars for them. Now, for the right price, including free, yes, I'll keep them. Now, there's shoes that I don't care how free they are. I'm not keeping. Sneaker politics flip flop too. Like if Adidas sent me Thank some you. Yeezys, cool. Don't happens hate. to me. Mm-hmm. I think you'd keep them. Kiss your kids. Here you go. Yeah, yeah you done that. No, no I'm donating those. If you see me wearing some Yeezys, I'm check my temperature. I'm, it's not his shoes. Not ugly though. Not huh? all of them are the, ugly. For the most part, they are though. Not all of them are ugly. Uh, it's yeah. About eighty-eight point nine. But you don't like no are. shoe though. Who you? I wear shoes. You don't like the shoes. You wear what, shoes because you have to. Because no shoes, no shirt, no service. So no. that's why you wear shoes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that's I why like you shoes. wear shoes. Oh, what is your favorite shoe? No, 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 no. Threes. Jordan threes, honestly. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. That's why I like the Georgetowns. I just like Jordan threes. Okay. It didn't that's why we. That's why I thought you would like them because they look. Like no, Jordan I like threes. threes. It's just I'm just not paying two hundred dollars for them. So just, you you become that. Like if I don't get it for free, I don't like. Gotcha. No, I said I'm not paying two dollars two hundred dollars for them. Now if I go to like the Nike Town or my bad, the community store downtown. I got a problem with them because half the, the store is full Nike price. Town, right. Right. Half the store is full price. I'm done. They the B grease. Oh, they had the white core purple fours. They were B grades and they wanted 190 for them. Bruh, if I'm missing the lid on the box and all the other uh, uh, laces and mm-hmm. whatever else comes with the shoe, I'm not paying full price. It's full, exactly. No. They want a full price with B grades nah. and the dude come over there like, yeah, I know this. I know all about sneakers. It's like, okay, bro, I'm going to let you live. I'm going to walk the other way because I could walk suckers around you, but I just let dog <laughs> Ooh, live. You know what I'm saying? Like, and he just flexed up real quick. <laughs> so it's just like, because they be acting like, because I work at Nike, I'm just super saying. Uh, white Ranger, like no, bro, you still, you still, Damn, it's the same White Ranger, oh, no. goddamn, <laughs> like about this crossover shot, the most, the most powerful <laughs> entity. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just like, no, you're not, bro. Like, you, you, you know what I'm saying? Comments yet. Mm. So no, that's because so. they was the. That's I that feel like that was the ultimate Ranger, but uh, before they start dancing and all the stuff out of space, but. But no, I I feel you in the community store. Like <laughs> they personally, like, like, yeah, no, we don't. That, that shoe never came actually, out like I that. I never had a problem with anybody particular at the community. I had the one girl though, because you know you can re, you can wear the shoe and return it within uh-huh. sixty days, uh-huh. and she was looking. And she, you could tell she wanted to say these are worn, but I had it. I had the uh, the thing up on Nike ready just in case she said uh-huh. something like, no, look, uh-uh, oh. 
Gordon and Nike, y'all take them back. Because right, so you're you about, you about, you about, you about to carry her. Mm. No, I wasn't about to carry her because oh. Karens would make a, a big to do out of nothing for no reason, and they usually are wrong. I was right. <laughs> But we didn't have a, we didn't have to go there. <laughs> you know what would be funny? You, think you know right. what would be funny? Well, they, you, they they right, but they'd be wrong. You if you'd be a funny anti mask wearer, you know that. If I was anti mask, yeah. if you was an anti mask, you'd be yeah. very funny. That'd be hairy because you yeah. very once you feel some way, you very stern about Hell it. Hell yeah, because yeah, I used to be right. Uh, <laughs> so the, so community, let us know. <laughs> Let us know how you feel about Ewing's and the collaborations. This next question I want to ask, and I guess this is going to be more and more prevalent going forward because uh, there's quite a few apps that are doing this. Uh, are y'all willing to rent sneakers? I'm going to say no because I ain't wearing no Absolutely other shoes. Absolutely fucking not. I, I'm not. Especially but, what don't I will, say but I uh, will rent them out. Of course. Uh, but you do know that when you rent them out and you get them back and you wear them, you're just doing the same that the person you rented them did. No, no, no. I wouldn't go back and wear them. If I'm, if I'm, uh, he said he'll make money from it, but he wouldn't actually wear them. If I have sneaker street. tenants, you know, like we're going to RFID tags, uh, you know, you got to put a security deposit down, a cleaning fee down, and you return them fucked up, you lose your, you know, we're running not, away houses. I'm then what's the point? It. You might as well just buy the shoe. Exactly. Well, you can't afford it. You got to pay the monthly rent. But the monthly rent Listen. fees and push yeah, your charge exactly. for doing it will probably equal the price of the shoe. Now, I get... I see potential in it, but it's going to be hard to enforce it. Like, you, you could have some people just run off with your sneakers. Which most people probably That's will. why you have a security deposit. And cleaning fees. <laughs> so, I mean... No, I just... I, in my mind, I get the concept, right? Or if someone's going to try and swap them with fakes. I mean, like, you got to really be on it, but I think there's potential... You just got to figure out the well, case. That's a good point because, I mean, you got to have a lot of faith in the people that you, you know, giving these shoes, handing these shoes out to. But beyond that, I get it because, you know, we live in this clout generation where everybody want to be seen with shit that they probably don't actually own, which is why this is becoming a thing. Um, I just, shoes that like a hundred other people wore, like, I'm, that's just, that doesn't appeal to me. You know, plus I like to own my collection. You know, I don't, I don't like sharing. Like, I've let my brother, who also wears a size 15, Wear some I mean, of my shoes. This new generation. You get it back from him, and it's like, oh, like what you do? Did you get chased nah, by, I've never by Angry Mom? I probably, if you want my shoes, like my boy said, I need some Hoover shoes. I'm like, here, you can just have them. Yeah, I, I can't, I, I can't I, get them back. It's like, day. nope, no more. You that's know, another like, thing. If you're renting shoes out, you got to, <clears throat> I don't know how well you could enforce a contract, but be like, do not run in these or do not do sports in these. Or like, this is strictly a lifestyle rental. I would like to think uh, you have some type like of... like what you just said. You, you enforce that security deposit. I would yeah. like to think you have some type of insurance policy on them, too. Like, in case of some type of damage. But what kind of insurance you know. going to be going insurance? That's the work I don't know why that went off. Shame. Mountain Dew caller. Um, um, but I think, I think <laughs> this is a... That's a mango drop, man. That's what that is. This is not going to sell itself. This is a really interesting topic. A lot of people are going to laugh and overlook. And then it's going to happen and it's going to become prevalent and people are going to be like, wow. Um, like this is going to be a thing. This it's is going yeah, to it's definitely a thing. I mean, it's becoming a thing now. Like, uh, damn, I can't think of his name off the top of my head. Shout out to my man, he's from Australia. Me and him talked. Uh, you know, he has an app coming out. International series. Um, black guy too. Shout out to him. But um, I mean, we had somebody come. From, it was like Sneakle. They from Australia. Yeah, right? from France. Yeah. All your people from overseas. You've been to London. You, you That's why he's European C. He's, he's really, yeah, he's he really was, actually, I, I commend him. He went to another country and took something for somebody. Like, that's What's like that? real I take? black vengeance right there. what I tell you? You know what you took at that sneaker kind of. Oh! <laughs> oh <laughs> no! You know shit. what I'm saying? You was like, you was like, what's up, boy, from uh, Black hey, Panther? Hey, listen. What's up, boy, from Killmonger? Hey, you yes. like Killmonger. Hey, people. <laughs> <laughs> he was getting his reparations. Yeah. People are going to wonder what we're talking about. We're not telling you until the tell-all book comes out 30 years from now. Yeah, yes. so I'm like, I've got all the it took that. a second. It took a second. I was like, what is he talking about? Uh, yeah. I was like, I came back. I didn't even find yeah. any shoes over there. Uh-huh. But I found something else. Then, hey, then, uh, hey, when it did that, came back to her, uh, her she kisses on his pillow. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, uh, you dropping too many clues, man. <laughs> um, <laughs> damn, <laughs> I'm flustered though because I was just about to say like just because y'all ain't been nowhere, but I mean, I'm, yeah, I'm cool. Nah, I mean, um, you went somewhere, and went somewhere, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, went somewhere, and came back, went back. Mm, this is true, <laughs> uh, but no, nah, I mean, would y'all be willing to buy some running shoes though? Hell yeah, no. Sure Say that again. Hell would you? No. I mean, I know you wouldn't. I, you, you. All right, here's a, here's a point I'm going to make. MJ. Everyone who says no, you guys ever go bowling? You're putting on shoes thousands of people have put but on. But that's like, like for a hot second. I'm not paying. 
I'm paying what two dollars to bowl. I'm you just really trying to make just a point. You really just that to bowling? Not to mention you got the a concept bowl. of wearing shoes that other people have worn. I'm saying if. If you are Put, trying to prove okay. a point and want to ball one night and you know you can't, if you can't afford a but thousand dollars, so, so I mean, why are you trying to prove the point if you can't? So I, it's not necessary for culture. me to rent your Yeezys, but it's necessary for me to rent these bowling Thank shoes you. to bowl. Yes, there's people who will justify paying fifty a day instead of a thousand total. I don't need those shoes like that. Like, my honestly, so you don't have this new generation. How, does. How's that? 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 How's I it's don't, not worth it, man. I don't need to spend a thousand dollars on a shoe. Imagine high schoolers in prom. That's going to be a selling spot. You know They're that's like dope shit. that's like going to like Enterprise and like renting a car for the weekend, acting like it's yours. Like, we yeah, all, if I'm, go to Miami, rent a right. Lambo. Come Monday, we all know that you broke again. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it's yeah, but that weekend, man, you get manic, have that. I don't high, need that the fuck though. Up. But here's the thing about it: when you rent that Lambo, you can drive and do whatever you want. You can truly enjoy that car. You rent the shoe. According to, according to your disclosure. You can't do nothing in the shoes. So once right. again, you why would you do around, it? Post on the ground you, and then send them right back to dunk. You can't go to the club because well, you probably going to get it stained up. Well, you can't so you go can't even stun in it. I'm agreeing with you, but I'm telling you there's potential and it's going to happen. No, I, I agree with you. It's potential. I'm, it's not for me. I'm the landlord. Like, I'm not trying to rent shit. I feel but it. it's it's gonna happen. It's I ain't mad at I you. As, as long as we are in agreement, down. and Goat already has that uh, goat care where they clean it themselves. If they get involved, it's a wrap. I don't know how involved they would cool, get. But I'm just, I got into but. sneakers before it became a thing, so I don't need someone else's. If you, people spend their hard money money to for other people's opinion while they said that. So it's just like I'm okay. Like I don't have to buy. If everybody wearing this, it's cool. I'm gonna wear this because this is what I like. This is what I care about. So it don't matter what other people are doing. I don't care about other people's opinion. Those are ugly. Cool. I'm gonna wear them because I like them. I don't exactly. buy for other people's validation. Exactly. So that's why it kind of differs from me. Hey, you guys are going to show up next week. There's going to be a whole locker on the side. I'm going to have people pulling up to rent sneakers. <laughs> I would be surprised. No, I would hear they're just going to buy them. Yeah. They got the disposable income. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah. Now, if we was maybe in one of the older studios, they probably yeah, we would still be at the uh, container. Uh, I wouldn't bring that locker company. to our last studio. <laughs> <laughs> I had hey, the container store. That would have bought them in the container store. The shipping <laughs> company. <laughs> the shipping company. Container store, what's up on the sponsorship? No, seriously, what's up? Uh, I actually reached out. Uh, it's Dunks again, guys, if you're listening. Sneak. <laughs> Shit. That's real selfish. <laughs> Sneaker news. I reached out on behalf of you guys. Sneaker news. Slam. Sneaker Dark. news. Uh, Payless is making a comeback in the U.S. Shout out to Payless. Yeah. Uh, an article written by Sheena Butler Young for Footwear News. Shout out well, to Sheena. Too. Yeah, yeah shout out to Sheena. Uh, I ain't talked to her in a minute. Call me. Uh, Payless recently made his post bankruptcy. So that's how it happens. Clout. That's, how you, that's how you use your clout. I, I get it now, man. Hey, that's how you use it. Hey, that's how you use it. <laughs> hey man, look, you become a celebrity, you just yes, don't know how to act, man. Now. Wow. We okay. are news anchors in Birmingham. <laughs> wow. MJ, am I acting different? Thank you. Thank you. Payless recently made his post bankruptcy brick and mortar debut. Uh, Payless, which filed for chapter no chapter eleven protection for a second time back in 2019, had a grand opening of the first physical store in North America, a redesigned retail concept in Miami, which is also home to the brand's new headquarters. Uh, after Payless went bankrupt in 2017 and again in 2019, uh, the company continued to operate 700 stores throughout Latin Central America, the Caribbean. South Asia, the Middle East, and in India. Uh, the 4,000 square foot store on Northeast 125th Street, the first of a series of retail openings in North America, will feature about 10,000 pieces of footwear, apparel, and accessories at any given time. That seems like a lot for Payless. I mean, they did carry a lot of shoes before. They did. They did. I mean, if they take the same route as a famous footwear, mm -hmm. Where you would carry like major brands, but maybe they lower tier stuff. Yeah, yeah. They can kind of reel it in. So, uh, the tricked out space designed to play up Payless's heightened focus on omni channel, as well as their post bankruptcy emphasis on Latino customers. That just seems why specifically Latino customers? Mm, I don't know. Will feature interactive touchscreen wall panels and top of the line augmented reality capabilities available in both English and Spanish. Uh, well, they, they did say the headquarters in Miami, right? So. Yeah. Maybe that's why. Or maybe also they probably identify their customer base. Yeah, this that's what I was going to say. Yeah. And you look at the right. country; we should those are take probably a trip like, down there. like poverty level stricken countries. Miami. Every country that they name that they sell in. So, yeah. what mean, happened the last time y'all went to Miami? 
a lot of things. How long did y'all walk for? <laughs> like was, hours. 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 Right. MJ can see that. Yeah. I got witness. Yeah. You brought it up, don't so. Uh, like we say, thirty minutes, and then like thirty minutes later, oh, we still yeah. got another thirty minutes. When did somebody's GPS? Damn, yeah. I was at iPhone. GPS. We walked to the ocean and back, bro. Like it was, <laughs> <laughs> it was crazy. <laughs> Jump at knee about to explode. It was like, oh, come on, come it was I like, dog. No, I was out of control. We're the bell, man. I was out of control. That's true. About to bring up my iPhone. It was true, but you did some atrocious. Thank you. It was true. We was almost about to steal scooters. We, we was like, you know, we tired scooter. of talking. Like, nothing. We was about to, hey, we was about to jump on scooters. When you just like put no, your signs no, no what we're gonna do is we get the scooters and then ditch them. We weren't gonna return them because this is one of those places you had to like, return the scooters. See, that's oh, why, that's like, why it Doug's wasn't like put that in No, it wasn't like out here. Yeah. You pay, uh, you know, you scan it. Yeah, no. Man, them things be ending up on the corner of seven miles Duh. somewhere. I'd be like, what the I hell? I seen one of somebody's garage. <laughs> <laughs> I seen a guy go pick one up one day. Man, you can't even. How did they charge it though? You gotta take it back to the charging station, right? The no, charge. it charges us. It has like a little solar thing on it. It charges oh, for the sun. Putting the garage is pointless. Unless you, I mean, you pull it out when you want to ride it. I'm saying, but if you go you put it in your garage. You go home and get up in the morning. It's gonna be dead. Pause. Where's the bell at, bro? Then why are y'all mind there? <laughs> that says a lot about you. Yeah, yeah. I'm gross. You, <laughs> among the stores, high, I'm sorry, famous. Among the stores, high hmm? tech features in an AR yeah. is an AR foot measurement chart and floor decal. Comprising of 16 individual 3D animation characters and 16 2D animal footprints. Why would you need animal footprints? For kids. Provided by AR platform Zapar. I guess. I mean, but you know what? There are some people that buy shoes for their pets, so. I actually tried once to put boots on a dog, and it. I mean, I don't know if you've ever seen an animal try and walk. Like Guru's just, face every time you talk. Though, I swear we need a camera. <laughs> oh, well, we got a camera. Thank you. Is this a white thing or something? No, it's just I no. Think that it's a that definitely is a white thing, though. Oh, just to yeah. let you know. But uh, anyway, you know, it's cute. It's all I can let I'll stop. But ridiculous. Uh, yeah. New Balance. <laughs> actually, when it, actually it was the villa in Oak Park. This was doing a grand open. This girl tried to try some Jordan One Mids for her dog. I think I got a picture on my Instagram about it. Yeah. Hey, imagine her trying it and be like, Oh no, we're not gonna buy these. Yeah, she did. Like, like, she's like, oh, these fit. I was like, you do know you're going to have to buy a two pair, right? <laughs> so, like, it didn't make sense. Like, but why would you put shoes on a dog? So, we talked about how Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> Michigan winters, their paws will get cold if it's, like, really bad. But, <laughs> but that's. Really <laughs> bro, that's no, what I, I got fur. What you keep no, talking no, about? No, that's no, why you keep the them in the house. Of your paw, it's it's like that rough leather material. That's why it's that's why it's textured for grit for weather conditions. Anyways, when I had a dog, he wouldn't wear shoes. But I like why I do wrapped wear his paws shoes? in uh, grocery bags with rubber bands before. It was cute. It looked like little boots. I'll find a picture at another time. Honestly, that was far more entertaining than anything I was about to bring up. And that's another example of white yeah. people being white. <laughs> that, is, that is wow. <laughs> Damn. Animals have survived centuries, and all of a sudden, you won't I'm like, no, nah, he needs boots. <laughs> all of a sudden, they can't handle the coat. Uh, so, we talked about Jordan Brand and how they finally won a lawsuit a couple of shows ago uh, in China, which is yeah, apparently for, one for, of the hardest peanuts, places wasn't to win like a lawsuit. Wasn't it like $30,000? Yeah, I mean, but they won, though, yeah. I guess. Yeah, so. The win's a win. So, not only did New Balance win, but they won one of the largest trademark settlements in China. So $47,000, I guess. But now will they be able to enforce it? Good question. Well, let's find out. Uh, an article written by Samantha McDonald for Footwear News. New Balance has won a major legal battle against one of China's famed knockoff brands. Uh, wait a minute. Wasn't, didn't Under Armour have a knockoff brand in China as well? Everybody Uncle Marsha. I don't know. Everybody even took that time to uh, knock off Under Armour. Everybody's got No, remember they had like Uncle Marsha or some stupid name like that. Yeah, it was I, something I, ridiculous. Uh, I definitely didn't pay attention. Uh, well, I'm glad you was on the show. Yeah, uh, under I might be like, mm, <laughs> commercial break. Because he's not going to go to one of the parties. That's why. The, yeah, he he's doesn't care. He doesn't yeah, want to go. Uh, recently, New Balance was handed a victory against uh, go Fujian parties, based. Y'all going to go to parties for the drinks and them girls, and they're going to come out there in that blackface, and y'all going to start fighting. So that's why I don't go to under <laughs> parties. <laughs> Fujian based <laughs> New Barlin Co., which came under fire for a slanted N logo that bore resemblance to New Balance's own N logo. Uh, in the decision, the Shanghai <laughs> District Court ordered New Barlin and distributor Shanghai Shi Trade Company to pay damages of $3.87 to New Balance. Damn. All right, that's a lot more than Jordan Brand got. 
the judgment is being described as one of the biggest ever awarded to a foreign brand in a Chinese trademark case. Typically, most local Chinese copycats end up only paying less than 155000 New Berlin and Shanghai Xi uh, marked with the N logo constituted an infringement against New Balance's trademark rights. The two companies, or the two Chinese companies, were said to have benefited from New Balance's popularity and reputation in China, as well as acted in bad uh, faith because they failed to cease their infringing actions even after the courts had issued an interim injunction against order against the uh, companies. The court also had distributor Shanghai Lucia Fashion Company jointly liable for nearly $15,500. They will have the right to appeal as the judgment has yet to take effect. New Balance trademark case dates back to 2016 when they sued dozen of, dozens of Chinese firms for allegedly copying their end trademark and logo. Uh, just as last April, the Shanghai District Court ruled in favor of New Balance awarding $1.5 million uh, for unfair competition. So, yeah. I mean, it is, it is apparently very, very hard to win a lawsuit case in China against a Chinese company. Especially um, with anything related to intellectual property. Yeah. I mean, think about it. The majority of fakes coming out of... So, I mean, I don't know how... You got you to gotta imagine that as to the economy somehow. So, I, you know, do they really care? Isn't that you know? a communist country? Yeah. Is yeah, it? So I okay, I don't know. Like, yeah, that's probably why it's hard to win because the government has something to do with it anyway. Okay, yeah, so that's what I'm saying. So that's, you know, it's a lot of legalities there. It's a lot I of politics. I they won that because the person who was making them fit, the, 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 whatever that brand was called. Could I? New Barlin? New Barlin, yeah. New Barlin for yeah, this case probably, or for They probably got into it with oh. the, the one of the court people because they know most of the time they win those cases. I slanted in, like, you know what I'm saying? It took them about five years. Yeah, but they stole the won this case Logan. against Uncle Martian, Jordan Brand, after... Years and years. years. It took years for that. Years play. for that thing. I never but thought. Nike's like, yeah, we don't want this lawsuit. We pull in these factories. Like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <It's 46 000. laughs> uh, and then there's also, I guess, the thing too, where like you can only get, they can only go back five years, as far as uh, oh, statute limitations. Yeah, and copyright. So it's only five years <laughs> for copyrights. Yeah. yeah. So like, if they copy your shit, like. You can they can only go back five years as far as like assessing the damages and what they owe you or whatever. So like they, like for, in Jordan's case, if they've been copying you since like ninety five, yeah, none of that counts. That's crazy. Yeah. Uh, they can only go back as back far as twenty sixteen. That's crazy. <laughs> right. And I love the fact that they were like, oh no, Michael Jordan, that's a normal name. And it's like, but you also copyrighted like the twenty his kid's name, <laughs> right? Twenty three. Yeah, it's like, come on, bro. They should have copyrighted forty five and twelve. And they nine. tried to. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, anyway, we haven't done this in a while. Uh, our one-star <coughs> sneaker store reviews. Uh, that's usually where we just look up one, literally, like, one-star reviews for different stores around the country. Oh, it's in Howell. <laughs> yeah, we'll get to that one next week. All right. You got to tell me about that one. Tell me where it's at. That'll give me you something to do. You might as well. Like, you said the yeah. one, it's only one store in Howell, so you might as well just say you, you don't want to give them the clout? Is that what it is? Or yeah. you don't want to mess up a potential backdooring relationship for you. That's why I got it. Well, I wasn't there. There we go. There we go. He I'm didn't mad, say no. but it might be potential business. It's like when future. I told I had an interview with that app, and they're like, oh, you work with bots, or oh, you have a bot company, and I trash them, but I wouldn't say who they are. I was like, fuck it, let's set up an interview. Let's agree not to agree and keep business moving. Mm. Seems a little self serving, but okay. What? You wouldn't do the business with somebody who didn't let you get the shoe that you wanted? Say that again? Would you do business with somebody who didn't want it, who didn't let you get the shoe that you wanted? Yeah. I mean, if there's profit to be made in the future, fuck it. Hmm. Got you. Interesting. All right. Well, anyway. Uh, I feel sneaker like store's going to be more coming after nah, that nah, one. No, no, I just take it in. Like, oh. So our sneaker store, our one-star sneaker store reviews, this is the St. Louis, Missouri edition. Why I picked St. What, Louis? Uh, what? What's your, what store? I, I figured just picked a bunch of stores in St. Louis. I figured you would have picked oh. Boston. I know we know why he picked St. Louis. Boston hey. has elite sneaker stores. Well, I mean, he coming hey. in, he coming in decked out like he's he, from he, Boston. It's, it's over his St. head. St. Lunatic, Gene. No, over his head. St. Lunatic. Over his head. No, I know. I know. No, I know. <laughs> I, I know. Okay. I just want to make sure. Uh, so City Gear. <laughs> he's visited those stores. Yes, yeah, yeah, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, y'all put too much out there, man. Uh, you know they got the birds logo too, so you know how. He... <laughs> Horrible. Horrible. You know they like them birds, you know Jeezy, them birds. Uh, <laughs> same bird play. This is word play. <laughs> I feel like I just stepped my shoe. 
Uh, so this did. is a City Gear on uh, 1403 North Grand Boulevard. City Gear? Yeah, City Gear. Are they still? Did, yeah, they I'm still swear they got bought up. Didn't they get bought up by somebody? Uh, they still going. They got in Oklahoma and a couple other places. Yeah. No, they did get that. Didn't, they got bought up by Jimmy Jazz? Mm. Yeah, I want to say merged like, yeah, or something. Like, yeah. Buying out sneaker franchises like this doesn't make sense unless you're they from another a, country trying to enter. They weren't a sneaker market. franchise. That's exactly what's going on. They weren't a sneaker franchise. That's though. why you see Snipes no. and uh, Jimmy yeah, Sports Yeah, that makes coming. sense, but isn't yeah. Jimmy Jazz U.S. and City Gear U.S.? For now. Oh. But also, if you're a business, you're trying to grow your portfolio. <laughs> you're trying to crush company, competition. You also buy their Nike accounts, too, that come with it. So, so now, say, if Nike said, you know what? You only got 200 stores, so we're not giving you 100,000 pair of or Jubilee 11s. So if I go buy City Gear and that puts me at 120,000 stores, I mean, like 150 stores, now they can sell me the 250,000 pair of Jubilees or whatever. So it's about building portfolio. And it's when the more yeah, you got to compete. Out, I mean, you got to compete against the Foot Lockers and yeah, you now the Snipes and the JD Sports of the world. So, I mean, it so. makes sense. I mean, because we saw Villa and DTLR merge. JD Sports and the US market via Sports. finish line, yeah. right? Uh, you finish JD line? Sports yes. entered US by buying Finish Line, right? Yep. Yeah. Now they yes. just bought Shoe Palace as well. And they bought. I didn't know that. They bought what's that? They bought and, and DT, DTLR. DTLR. They bought DTLR. Yeah. Shoe yeah. Palace just switched over from their own uh, checkout uh, platform to Shopify, so now they're easy to buy. It. Look at uh, Wex. See, that's, why, that's, that's what the scratch yeah. came in. Yeah. So you said it's easy to buy, and they watch, and then they might work on it. Well, no, Shopify is a general platform that manages like eighty sneakers. But stores. they could just switch it like that. We can't use Shopify no more. No, they, it, that's. You said the same thing with Full Locker, and Full Locker, you was upset that day you couldn't get no shoes off of Full Locker. No, that's because our shitty internet here. No, no, no. I'm talking hey, about who's wait, at wait, the studio. No, no, no. Don't disrespect uh, the studio, man. No, no, no. Well, this is at the other place. Remember, you was like, I tried to use it, and they was like, I went to the store. They said, your email's on here four so, times. You can't do so that. So, Full Locker, Champs, East Bay, Foot Action, they all have one checkout platform, mm -hmm. right? Uh, Easy Supply, Adidas, that's demand wear. Mm -hmm. Nike's got their own. Then all these mom and pop shops are usually Shopify. Mm -hmm. Um, so they're all operating under Shopify. These stores don't make individual changes. Like undefeated concepts can make you have a username and password to log out. But most of these changes are done by Shopify on their end. Mm -hmm. And it's they're not going to make small little differences per one website. They'll they'll update. No, but, but you can still say if I choose this platform and now I'm getting bought it and I know someone say, hey, I can buy this, maybe I'll use a different. Man, stop platform. trying to turn them into an yeah, informant, man. Nah. What well, you're saying, know, yeah, you they can switch them, so I'm again. saying, like, <laughs> stop telling on yourself so it can be easier for you to buy. Shoot That's Palace what had their own <laughs> checkout platform and no one was hitting it. And now they're on Shopify and everyone's hitting it. I'm just supplying the rope, bro. Anyway, City Gear. Hey, I'm down uh, in Nebraska. 1403 North Grand Boulevard. Uh, this particular place is a joke. I sat in one spot with a sneaker in my hand, waiting to be helped. Literally, three employees walked around, did everything under the sun, except simply ask, how may I help you? Or, what brings you in today? Something. I just put the shoe back on the wall and left out. It's terrible in this store. Devin Palmer, St. Louis, Missouri. And he put his full name? Yeah. Uh, usually they he put, put his like full the, name. No, I'm saying usually they put the initial. They, like, they usually do. Yeah. Uh, Why are you slamming papers at me? Because I just wanted you to see. This is another man. city gear. It's two, actually, it's two from uh, this particular city. It's probably gear. only two city gears in St. Louis. 3519 Bamberger Avenue. I, could, uh, I called to see if they were closed, and they said, Hell yeah, hung up. It's my kind of story. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, who, who answered the phone with Stone Cold Steve Austin? No, you did. Nah, I don't work at a shoe store. It was 316 hey, day. I work day. at a shoe company. <laughs> <laughs> That's not how you should talk to customers. I just want to know because it says on the door that they closed at 9. I call it 8.30. Well, how many times have we read that, though? Like, how many times? I mean, how many times have you actually seen oh, that, though? When somebody down there. Like, dog, oh, y'all don't even close until 9. Like, yeah. they do that. But then again, there are people that show up, like, five minutes before closing. Oh, man, you talk. That's the worst ever, yeah. man. The worst ever. And they get mad at you when you got somewhere to go and you trying to get out of there. But, but they just get like the, 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 no the reality reason. of it, yeah, it sucks, but... By a company standards, if it's close to eight fifty five, you come in there at nine, you do gotta service them. Yes, out of etiquette and like consideration, don't come in there that late, right before we go to close. But from a business standpoint, you close at nine, not eight fifty two. If you if you gonna come in there that late, just know what you're gonna get. Yeah, so I mean that's, that's all I ask for. That I mean it is what it is, but mm, I guess it's different. Uh, this next one is funny. This is for the same store, and it's just like one line, and it, I don't know. I just find it funny. It simply says, "Watch out for fake shoes." J team the guy one, St. Louis, Missouri. So apparently this retail store sells fake shoes. Is it a retail store or a consignment store? Retail City store. gear. 
Oh, okay. it's a retail. Yeah. Which I've heard though, because a lot of times too. So what I've heard is people buy the fake shoes, like the unauthorized pairs or whatever, buy the fake shoes, and then swap them out with the real shoes. But who's who? is he? Dunk's face. Is the, was the camera on his There's face? There's no moral compass behind that, but I, it makes sense, I suppose. It's not. No, you smiled as if he's done it before. I don't, I don't he, even he know where to told, find he it. He told on himself. That's I don't even doing. know where to find a city gear. <coughs> Bro, you got things on Fairline. Maybe it's a good thing you don't find city gear. They got rid of it. I was a city man, fool. Oh, shit. Same <laughs> thing. City gear, city <laughs> man. Oh, oh Google. Google. Like, I don't know what to say. You allow this one. You allow this one. I'll just you on sneakers, but I'll never, I'll never pull a fake. That's... That's against my. You'll love this next one, Guru. This one is specifically for you. Foot Locker, thirty-six five one Page Boulevard. This store manager can't tell time. Closes the store twenty minutes early. Store never answers the phone. Seen that before? Seen no, that? no. Heard listen, that before. it gets better. Bad representation of Foot Locker. This is why I prefer shopping in white communities as a black man. Oh wow. I hate customer service. But then his name, though, this is what got me laughing. El Crado. Antonio. His name is Alcardo Antonio, but yeah, he's so a he's black probably guy. A Latin, uh, probably of Latin descent, but he just. Well, but my thing is, to be to fair and honest, man, some stores do be like that, and it do be trash. People do close the store early. People do not answer the phones. Like even when I call for other stores, they don't answer the phone. Like it is rude. And then certain stores, we know if you get product, that customer service is trash because one, they know they're gonna get the sale. Mm -hmm. Two, they know you're gonna come to that store because that product is allocated to that store. So it's just like I don't gotta be customer service friendly because I what size you need? It's like it's it's whack, but. It is what it is. And it's up to I just love the fact that team. he's like, what did he say? He said, uh, da, 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 da. this is why I prefer shopping in white communities as a black man. I'm like, bro, what are you talking about? Like, customer service be man. just as bad in some of those stores. I mean, I mean. Plus, your product selection going to be worse. Well, way worse. It's going to be way worse. And then you might get a 50-50 chance you might get profiled. You know what I'm saying? 50 <laughs> bitches. <laughs> Depends. I mean, sure. we don't know his More real 60, ethnicity, 40. so I know El Cardo. <laughs> so we don't know his real ethnicity. So he mixed a little 50. bit of everything. I was gonna say, <laughs> true you minority. Wanna, you might want to check out the uh, Payless store in Miami. Now you try to hang on the black man. Like, did they feel like? Did you realize what they did to like Latino children and families like two years ago? <laughs> so you trying to pose as a black man? Not gonna help your case. He seemed like the, the the one the one black person you see at the Trump rally. Oh, he might be a, Trump for black. He might have that. He <laughs> might have that semi social treatment. Skin yeah, treatment. <laughs> semi social. He needs to lighten up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Pun intended. <laughs> that, he was like, "Who was that? Wasn't the dad of the Proud family or the uncle who had the?" Uh, <laughs> <laughs> who, was the yeah, he like Jimi Hendrix. Yeah, that, he had lighting up. That's what Sammy Sosa reminds me of. Every time I see him, he get to singing. Man, but, yeah, Sammy Sosa, dog. Like, that's not even a human color. Like, I, that's crazy because it's like I don't dude, understand like, that how black that's people. A, be, that's a thing in their in in their like uh, Latin American communities. What's that? That's actually a thing for what, them to lighting try. Up? Yeah, I ain't like, never seen no Latino try to lighten up. No, but he like salmon pink. Like, no, that's yeah, not. He like. Powder donut white, but he worse than that because it don't but I, I understand donut. that. It's just like dude is like infrared, <laughs> black like. <laughs> <laughs> He just standing there looking like a Jordan Six. Right. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> I understand, like it's like okay, the dark skinned people are trying to be light, and then the light light people are trying to be dark. Like, don't you see that they trying to be you? I don't understand. Real that. talk, it's, he not even the infrared sixes that came out recently. He's like the ones that came out before the that. Ones. The pink ones. <laughs> nah, he's no, it's, he, it's, he par dunk brown. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's in it's in it's something I've read about it in their communities where they want so badly to be, I guess, like accepted or whatnot. So they re, they search to try and get. Well, would you, would you find up. out on but, <laughs> <laughs> but hey, but Gene though, but they are widely accepted. Who Cinco de Mayo? They celebrate your culture. They celebrate. Taco. I'm not Do talking like, about celebrating the culture. I'm talking about being accepted, kind of like the same way how we get treated in this country. Nah, we we get exploited. We get they like us, but they don't like us to have power. They don't like us. That's to the have same thing for them. 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 They look for that. Who is uh, that? But they got their own. Like they, they got <laughs> people like yourself, Dunks. Whoa! I'm in I my want own somebody. I, I, actually, <laughs> I don't fit in with anyone, bro. I don't even fit this in goes in for the same table. Foot Locker store. There, so I just had to. This no. goes for the same Foot Locker store. I really want to know what this means. I think I know what it means, but I really I want some clarity on it. Maybe somebody from St. Louis can uh, fill me in. Uh -huh. But uh, they probably can. Do they sell Nike TNs? <laughs> you finish? <laughs> do they sell Nike TNs? Because I'm an Ishe. If you don't know what Ishe means, search it up. Big Money 463, St. Louis. 
I don't know what Ishe is. I don't know. Yeah, what I'm, I'm hoping somebody from uh, Full Locker or I'm not Full Locker, if somebody from St. Louis, St. Louis. Me, what's the Ishe? I, I got an idea. Know. I don't want to say it on air, though, but I got an idea. Shit, I, don't even have an, I don't even have an idea. I feel we got to be careful what we're saying or claiming or reading or whatever the fuck's going on here. No, I ain't worried about it. Uh, Foot Locker. <laughs> Four six one five. That's that, that's that beef you was talking yeah, about. Exactly, exactly. Foot Locker. That's exactly why. <laughs> hey, it's all about keeping the same energy. Foot Locker on uh, forty six fifty one Chippewa Street. Uh, this one. Oh, I love this person's name. So it wasn't even so much the review; it was just his name. Like I, I thought it was. It wasn't creative, but it was different. Anyway, get better customer service and start firing people. ASAP. Just call here at fourteen oh six hours. 206 for people who don't know military time. So, you just wanted to stunt with your knowledge of military time. I, that's so stupid. You could have just said 206 from the very and beginning. It's not even that hard because you just yeah, add an hour I every know, time yeah, exactly. where that passes. So I know. He just wanted to show off his knowledge of military time and it was dumb. But what the military got to do with you buying sneakers? I have no clue, but, but he literally, that's what he added in there. Look at just, the military joy one minute. Yeah. Anyway, uh, and the S- bum. Something with camo. <laughs> He called at 14, six hours, and the bum who answered the phone had the nerve to just hang up on me before I could ask another question or anything. I don't care how tired you are or of probably answering the same question. I can honestly tell you, I ain't even worked in retail, but I can imagine how if something was put out there and you still have a group of people still asking questions to things that have already been answered, that's annoying. So. It's well called Saturday you know. morning. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I was uh, waiting I was going on. To yeah, wait, wait for it's yeah. not, it's a, not a Jordan release. Oh yeah, it's not often that I, I sympathize uh, with people that you know work in retail because it kind of goes both ways. And I used to work in retail too, not sneaker retail, but no sneaker retail is different, bro. I know. Actually, I know it's not even Saturday mornings now because of with the whole raffle process. It's, but people it's still the entire call week. Them. But people still call. But them. that's what I'm saying. It's the entire week because they'll call on a Tuesday. Hey, y'all getting them jerseys? No, 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 no. It's, no. it's, it's not even that though. They even do it like that though. They call on no. It's not even that. Now it's in person. They walk in. Y'all got them jays like, bro. You know we do raffles, bro. You know every store do raffles. Damn. Oh yeah. yeah sure. Like now they come in person with like, dog. You come in here every week. We know you do raffles. Is no secret Full Locker does raffles Again It's called customer service If you hate providing quality service Then stop working all together I hope your management reviews the call And either reprimands you Or fires you Damn Feet Funkerson St. Louis, Missouri I was If I could have replied back If I If, if whoever was, he was talking to on the phone He got on Google and said That's why I'm going to kneel during the anthem <laughs> that that, that would have lit his fire. <laughs> oh man! Every time I think about him, uh, that whole situation, I think about Dave Chappelle's uh, stand up. Oh, when he did stand up about, on like, Netflix, yeah, having OJ Simpson kneel at the uh, Super Bowl. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Hilarious! All right, this like this is the last one. This one is hilarious to me. Uh, major three woman brawl. Manager was useless, and there was some serious punching, ripping out of weave, and use of an extinguisher. Oh, oh. wow! Awful. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like ECW. I'm just saying, it, it, it sounds like a hardcore I'm match. Saying, <laughs> the women look pathetic, and there were three to four little kids. And Emerson, St. Louis, Missouri. Like, I, I love those type of ones because we read about the one the, the girl got thrown up on twice. Uh, there was another one, I think. Uh, but man, uh, the manager uh, can't do that when somebody fight fight broke you tell out. them to stop, but you can't, they t- you can't put your hands them. on them. You can't advise them to break it up. No, I mean, but first of all, why would you show up to a store and have that type of fight? Even if I saw somebody I didn't like. I mean, why? It's, why? Uh, you, I mean you, it's, you've shot the Eastland before, right? Yeah, I ain't never got to do a fight at Eastland. You've never you got into a fight, fight at Eastland. How many fights have you seen? Eastland. Eastland. No, I've seen some, but that's that makes it I'm dumb. Saying. No, I'm saying that's that's dumb too. No, I'm not. I'm not Point saying. Point to another dumb situation doesn't make this one any dumber. No, I'm dumber. just saying like. Or it any happens. less dumb. We just don't No, I know how it happens. It just. The Logically, mentality. yeah, just like he's talking about from the fighters, not the store for the sake. No, yeah, no, I'm not, I don't blame the store at all. Yeah. It's, it's not the store's fault. Like you can't, like you said, you can't touch them. You can't control how other people are going to be. I'm talking about the people that walk in, and for whatever reason, I don't know if it's just somebody you don't like, and you happen to see them across the store. Yeah, unless unless somebody put their hands on you know my family member or my daughter. But you know how about people don't take that to fight. Maybe that's what happened. I don't know. So, I don't I'm just trying to figure out why at what fire point, extinguisher was yeah, used. Yeah, at what point did somebody reach for the fire extinguisher? That means you fight. You know how you fight anything. <laughs> where was where was Jim Rose said to say the I'm carnage? Saying. The carnage. Oh my god! <laughs> it's kind. He's broken in half. The pandemonium. <laughs> man, oh, man, I, I really want to know though. Like that's that's wild. And it was four, three to four little kids. Like 
If you got kids there, I mean, like I said, they, 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 they shut up the Zap Zones. That's they sad. shut up the, the, the David Busters when they old dude hit the person yeah. with the car. Yeah. It's like you can't even take your kids to no place, places, bro. That's sad, though. It is. That's Very sad, sad, though. Y- y- y'all need to take better self-control uh, of y'all's sales. Uh, this Week in Stupid. Mental health matters. That was This Week in Stupid, wasn't nah, it? Yeah, it should have been. Yeah, it definitely was. This I thought week that was it. Man. Honestly, though, I was surprised there isn't like viral video of somebody in a fight with a fire extinguisher. Like, I, I really want to. Can we get like security footage of that? Anybody work at that store? Is that the Foot Locker? I was going to say, man, you, you ever seen the Boiler Room, bro? On 4615, no, 4651 Chippewa Street in uh, St. Louis. <laughs> you want them to send us the security I want the take? security footage of that. I, I'm actually interested to see how that went down. Uh, fees break in sneaker store boutique. Hmm. An article written by Brandon King for sneakershoptalk.com. Seattle sneaker and fashion boutique likelihood was the uh, real quick oh, before man. I get to the story. I, at one point, I do want to get to the point where we like just whenever we go to a city, which we did anyway, but like hitting up these boutiques because each one is like unique and different. I, I like that. And oh, I, yeah, I, sure. I kind of that's, that's the one part I miss about there was you know, this whole a lot, pandemic. Lot of they took a lot of the uh, some of them. They took a lot of mom and pop not get accounts away. They did, and they lowered their tears too, which mm-hmm. sucks. Which but. is messed up, right? But still, I want to check them out because that was always the fun part whenever we would go out of town. Yeah, if I don't know, I think Walter may still have this. But if you gave me, it was Walter's in the other store in Texas that had he the satin though. Jordan I mean, ones. did that are they still open? I'm not sure. The Jordan ones, the satin Jordan ones, the black yeah. and blue ones. I'd be pissed if you gave me those and me and me in another store in the country, and then two years later you come back to them about no more Jordan account or we got to lower your tier account. I'd be heated. Or I do like other idea for Reds, you know, make them spend all this money to change up the store. But that goes back to yeah, not how they Yeah. And then just to take it away like a year later, that's some fucked up shit. They took the account away? No, I hope not. No, they, they ain't take it away. They ain't take it away. I'm just saying, like, mm-hmm. even still, they kind of forced their hand. Because the store is fine just as it was. Yeah. You know, like the upgrade, it, yeah, it looks a little nicer, but not for the money they spent. A ni- Nike. To my knowledge, Nike forced a lot of things to change in that store that didn't need to happen. That real, so. real dog. Anyway, yeah. uh, S- Seattle sneaker store <clears throat> uh, likelihood was the target of a recent break-in. According to the Seattle Police Department, police responded to a call that the shop's window had been smashed in by a rock. They also stated that two employees were assaulted in an attempt to prevent the break-in. I don't listen. I'm not getting paid enough to stop nobody from robbing anything. Um, you know, I'll call the police after y'all leave. I'm not stopping no thief. I don't know what you got. Knife, gun. I mean, you can go in the back and call the police. That. I'm not stopping. I'm not going to intervene. I'm not going to physically stop. Halt. No. All right. <laughs> we got insurance, you know. Uh, anyway, they tried to stop the break-in with one of the witnesses indicating that the thieves flashed a gun. My point exactly. As they fought to escape. The crook sped away in a Chevy Impala uh, that was found nearby smashed into a tree. Hmm. Items recovered in the crash crash vehicle included high end retail items and a large quantity of drugs. Oh, That's yeah. probably how it crashed. Uh, they found your dunks. Nah, I was in the back seat. Uh-huh. Now let me ask you this, dunks. Uh, you crashed this car. You got time to grab one thing. You grabbing the high end retail items, or you grabbing the large quantity of drugs? Drugs. <laughs> Slam. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a sneaker head and all, but we gotta be smart here. <laughs> so why, why would you grab the drunks over the shoes? It's not illegal to have shoes in the car. Say what? But you're not in the car, so who are they gonna say that it belongs to? If I'm tied to this situation in any way, shape, or form, those drugs are disappearing. <laughs> but my thing is, you, but you're not in the car, so how would they know? If I'm tied to this car in any way, shape, or form, those drugs gotta disappear fast. But the stolen product will tie you to the shoes. The stolen product actually ties you to the car more so than the drugs do, because the products came from a store and they can look at the store video footage from which you just broke into. That that may be a relevant point, but in the heat of the moment, <laughs> if I'm involved, I may be on these drugs. I got to think fast. I can't I say I'm add. too mad. At, I, honestly, I can't say I'm too mad at Dunks uh, Police did manage to take one person into custody who, according to them, was identified as the gunman. He was booked at the King County Jail on burglary and drug possession charges. And apparently... The suspect was also wanted on a felony felony harassment warrant. Uh, although there were three thieves caught on video breaking into the boutique, the gunman is the only one to be apprehended at this time. So, uh, yeah, maybe you should have grabbed the drugs. I don't know. Arrests made in November robbery. Like, even in Scarface, since we're talking about Scarface, like, Manny already got shot. My man tried to, he just cut up your boy. 
And it's funny, that's another funny part of that movie. What? So Chi Chi has to help Manny get out of the hotel room after being shot and grab the yayo. Chi Chi, get the yayo. Like, no, like, you only got so many hands. He got a machine gun in one hand. He's helping Manny out the, out the, uh, Cause Tony the hotel. Had to- Cause Tony had to go get his revenge. Remember, we had to chase my man's down. Yeah, but you got two free hands, bro. Like you can't grab that briefcase. Nah, he was bloody. We would have had all. I'm the just blood saying that's another it. funny part. Cause Chichi yeah. is so small. Like trying to help Manny himself was funny enough. Well, look, it all full circle. Who was the first person to die? Cause Tony wouldn't open up the door when he was high, and they broke into no, the house. No, Nick actually got it. Yeah, first. It was Nick. Yeah. Nick, he caught it bad too. He got the shotgun blast right. But then Chichi got the he got the machine gun. But Chi- that, no, door. Chichi's an idiot because you see like six or five dudes with machine guns coming at you. You going how many knocks on the door before, before the door doesn't open? Are you going to just stand there? I'm about to pull out the Scarface Air Force ones. I'm just saying, I'm a, I'm a, well, I'm, a, he, I'm not gonna make was, it easy for where you. Where else was he supposed to go though? Somewhere, I don't know. He had Somewhere. nowhere else to go. Was there not any other rooms? You got that whole second floor in this one room. I gotta go back and watch that movie now. I'm pretty I, sure there was feel, another I door. I think it was just that one. I want to say there was another door. What off to the side somewhere? Some I don't know. I don't bro. think so. But I'm you know, though, the dudes breaking in will go through every room, though. I know. I'm just saying I'm not gonna make it easy for you. I'm not gonna just stand on my back to the guys with the guns while I'm trying to knock on the door, hoping that Tony answers the door. Especially after I seen that mountain of cocaine sitting on his desk. <laughs> Man, I gave him the superpowers. That's why he was going <laughs> to take he took all the books. <laughs> oh man, oh, yeah. Wow, I gotta go back and rewatch that movie. It's been a minute. It's just funny though. I've seen that movie so many times. I still vividly remember. I think they're remaking it, but they're going Please more don't. so like the. Uh, they're yeah. going a different route. To the like nineteen twenty one. Less Cuban, Florida gangster, more like a uh, bootlegger style. Listen, man, that's not there's, Scarface. There's no me. way. Thank you. There's no way you can improve that. Well, movie. the original Scarface was like that, and then the Tony Montana one. The Tony Montana was an improvement on the original. I agree, but now they're going back, back. Yeah, no, they shouldn't. They shouldn't. I I don't know how you make that better. Not such a classic 80s movie. Alcohol or cocaine? Which one are you choosing? Mm-hmm. Exactly. Make, a, I'm saying, make a bootleg movie that's not named Scarface. Bootleggers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That, that's pretty good. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. If Guru said it, the beer idea goggles. would be I don't know. Like, beer goggles. I don't know. Dog. I'm not good with movie titles. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> beer goggles? Beer guy. I don't know. Uh, we'll talk about selling legal alcohol. That's not good. I'm just saying something. <laughs> something else other than Scarface. Because I mean, now I, got, many, I, I walk in with expectations. But then Speaking my, of which. My thing, too, though, is how many times have they retold the bootlegging story? Like, they made how many Al Capone not. movies? A bunch. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. true. There was, true. There was that the Tom Hardy movie, Capone true. or something. Yeah. But the, that's another Scarface. I mean... Speaking well, of they Scarface. better not. They better not touch that. No, uh, don't be surprised because I heard they were trying to redo something with the Godfather. I'm like, why? Oh, uh, did y'all watch How? that Jesse Lee movie? No, I have. I watched the first two hours. I had to take a break. Go to I bed, did. I had to take a break. I haven't watched any of it yet. <laughs> I, I watched watch it in tonight. two parts. That's like it, this was the first movie so far should have been, but it was. But I understand it's hard to put all of that in the. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah, the, the, the HBO Max is the perfect. Vehicle for that movie because I I don't know if that would have came out in movie theaters like that. But like for everything, it gave a backdrop. Duh. It was just it gave Way. more and more villains. It, it explained more. Thirty minutes into the movie, I'm like, this is already better. Yeah, the Flash, yeah, the Flash, yeah. The Flash and uh, Cyborg. Cy- they told more of Cyborg story. Nah. They told more of Flash story. They gave the what initially. They happened. had more scenes. They initially, had, yeah, they told you. Remember what? that scene where they, where they? I mean, y'all yeah, seen? Yeah, you spoiler alert. No, nah, listen. No, nah, don't tell me. No, spoiler alert. Listen, listen. Nah, listen. listen. Right. y'all seen the movie. Nah, the good guys yeah. win. Nah, the bad guys nah, lose. Good, it's already good. done. We we don't know that because it's Infinity Jesus. War told us something different. That was part one of a two part movie. I can't listen. Hear you. <laughs> Point is, and I'm not even giving away anything. I'm just saying that, that one scene. You just did. No. You said the good guys win. Uh, okay, y'all, did y'all really think Superman was going to stay dead? Y'all seen the first. Listen, the first Justice League, that one scene that everybody's seen already, where uh, Stephen Wolf already captured uh, Cyborg's dad and mm-hmm. some other hostages mm-hmm. and shit. Okay. Now, that one scene is. So much worse than the scene in the Justice League because the, the Flash had more scenes in there, which I thought was sweet as hell. Like mm-hmm. the one part, so, I yeah, can't yeah, say it, it, was a, it, was, it. God forbid. It actually went deeper into each. The Flash story. runs fast. Spoiler alert is in the movie. It went deeper into Damn, each person's story. Superman flies. Guess what? Spoiler alert. And it let you know why he was looking. He was really looking for them boxes in the first place. Yes. And like, and it told you the story of the boxes. Here's the really, funny part. Really it's four hours long, but I I can't think of that many scenes that I would take out. Like it was to me, it was yeah, perfect. Yeah, it was like it was a real it was perfect. Damn, it's four hours. Yeah, it's yeah, four hours, bro. But it's good though. It's, it's good, dog. Like honestly, I'm gonna watch it again this weekend. I ain't gonna about that, but I watched. You it. got a lot of free time, man. Dog, huh? A lot this weekend at least. So you know, Nike don't work on the weekends. <laughs> 
<laughs> they work on Saturdays. No, are you don't. Putting, are you putting this? Not over? website don't work. Not, not corporate. <laughs> <laughs> website Which like, definitely don't work. Are you putting this over the Avengers? Mm. That's a good question. The first one, or do you think that has the potential to to rival it? Fairly? No, because Avengers had more popularity. I think that the storyline was a more keen towards adults. Uh, it was it was less kiddish. Oh, shit. It was less kiddish. That was know. less kiddish. But do we have? Good I, I would say this: the first Avengers, this? the first Avengers had more mass appeal because it was funny, it's lighter, mm-hmm. you know, it's shorter. Uh, but me personally, this is oh, man, this, that, I, mean, I would have to say they about even. If I had to choose which one I was going to watch, minus the four hour runtime. Please tell me Ben Affleck's not still Batman. Yeah, he no, is. He's, yeah, he's, but he's, I, I he, like I, his Batman. Yeah, he's cool as Batman. No, nah, I don't like I like his Batman. Batman. I like his Batman. It's not. It's like he took a deep breath and ain't let it out yet. He like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we gotta go over here. That's yeah, how Christian Bale yeah. was. Yeah. Nah, one, he had, uh, Christian Bale. Christian Bale talked talk, he had Christian Bale talk like he swallowed some nails. Yeah, so yeah, but, he had one line in the last movie and it's like, you will bleed. <laughs> like, That's all he said. I don't know. I found it to be good. I liked everybody in it. Oh, Wonder Woman was... Yeah. A boss in this movie. It was everybody like, had a it was good like part. they all had their own movie inside the movie. Yeah, and, and everybody was and everybody and played a role though, especially the Flash at the end. Mm-hmm. So yeah, spoiler alert. Yeah, because what in the Justice League movie, Cyborg was trash. Yeah, Justice, Justice League, League Adventures yeah. or Sneaker Box, which which has the best team? Oh, we do. If anyone uh, listening wants to, I was gonna say I can only imagine in. what the chat is gonna say to that. Oh yeah, what what is the chat saying? By the way, real quick. Any relevant uh, comments being made? Nothing that I... Can you hear me? Yeah. yeah. I, I, mean, I can show you. First, first of all, I, I just personally want to say, you, you can't really compare nothing to Avengers right now. Like, like You said what? Avengers. I, I feel like Justice League don't deserve to be in that conversation yet. Hey, see I mean, the movie they first. way more better see movies. The movie. I understand that. But this one... It was I was going to well, say, yeah. well, I mean, I guess you could say because the Avengers have put in all of the work so far and been successful yes. with it. Yes. See the movie and then come back to me. We'll, we'll ask you again next week. And but, they're better at tying individual movies to the bigger. To yes, the, like, they the got movies. a better universe. But on that note, uh, this is, what, our third show? Yeah. Third show with Woodward Sports? It is. So definitely thank you guys for supporting us, following us. Make sure to uh, check out the podcast on sneakerbardetroit.com. Make sure to uh, you know tell your friends, your family members, all that good stuff. Make sure to call us on our hotline, 248-677-1803. And definitely make sure to come back next week, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, right here on Woodward Sports for the next show. We'll see you guys next week. We out. What up, Peace. Cool. Everybody, your main man, your man, Bostic, kicking it with you. From the basement of the Jays, here to deliver your word of the week. Always remain positive. You never know what will be coming your way in the future. Things happen rapidly. They happen quickly. And being positive is one of the main reasons why things come your way. Never give in. Never doubt yourself. And always believe in the impossible. All right, that was this week's word from me and the Sneaker Box crew. Have a blessed week, and we'll see you next Saturday.